Well, hello everyone. Hi there. Um, oh my god. There they are. Found my glasses. <laughs> I was like, where did my glasses go? Running a little behind. Yeah, running a little behind. Um, it took me, it took forever for the coffee uh, machine to like pour up my cup of coffee. I don't know what happened there, but welcome everybody. Mm hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Good one. A good one right there hi how's it going yeah so uh today we're gonna be um hang on a sec let me just uh pull up the game real quick uh today we're gonna be playing uh, spirit of the island right spirit of the island yeah spirit of the freaking island it just came out today it's an early access so this is an early access game um that well you know it's an early access that's all i gotta say I think we're going to be, uh, we're, we're probably going to be looking into, um, I I'm thinking keyboard and mouse, or I'm thinking uh, controller. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get into here in a sec. Hang on, let me just bring up the game for us here. You're probably here in the background, maybe. I don't know. Okay. We played it. We played this game before. Yeah, we played this game before. Uh, we did a Let's Look At not too long ago, actually. And, um, I had a good time! I had a good time indeed. So, yeah, here we are. So this is Spirit of the Island, um, funded by Kickstarter. This is a Kickstarter project, put into the actual works here, published by Meta... I hate to say this, published by Meta Publishing. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of funny. Uh, so, real quick, brief description of the game, if you are unfamiliar, and this is your first time seeing Spirit of the Island, and you did not catch our Let's Look at. Spirit of the Island is... A colorful co-op, yes, I said co-op, co-op life sim RPG set on a tropical archipelago, oh my god, archipelago, look, you already know, build your farm, grow crops and animals, craft various items, cook exquisite, exquisite dishes, gather resources, build shops and museums to attract visitors, and turn a desolate island into a prosperous tourist destination. Um, right now, for the first seven days of this game being out, you can go ahead and pick it up for 10% off. Um, it's originally $24.99, um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. This is developed by 1MBits Horde and published by Meta Publishing. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, we are going to be looking into going for about, uh, what is it, three hours or so? Three hours or so. Um, I would go longer, but I forgot that I had to do something this evening, which... It's fine. It's fine. Uh, so if tomorrow we have a stream, we might we might even have tomorrow. Like we come back to this game tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I really enjoyed the let's look at and uh, the characters, the storytelling. I really enjoyed uh, going into that. So yeah, let's uh, let's let's see how everyone's doing. Hello, chat. How are you? How are you doing, chat? Good to see you. Let me just make sure my uh, my pop out here is is not. You know, it's I can see it. <laughs> um, there we go. All right. Yes, so hello everybody. Wow, there's a big list here. Hello Yorkie, hello Debbie, hello Bo, hello Karma, hello Cherokee, hello Savage, hello Zombie, hello Sage, hello Darren, hello Daniel, and uh, if I forgot anybody, please forgive me. Hello Jeremy, did I say that right? I think I might have already said that. Yeah, and anybody else and everybody else that will uh, go ahead and uh, come through uh, later on. You were hoping this game to be a slightly cheaper. Well, I mean, that's a fair argument, uh, but... It is early access, so if this game is early access, there's going to be more planned in the future, probably. We'll have to see. I don't know. Um, will it be worth the uh, price point that it's at? Uh, again, I don't know. We're going to have to see for ourselves, right? All right, so there we go. Let's just turn on V-Sync real quick. Uh, see if anything else is here that I need. A 24-hour format? Um, I, I'm i just going to make it like AM, PM because it's easier for me. I know some people might feel the the complete opposite and that that's all we're probably going to be doing here right subtitles english whatever okay yeah um as far as like where my face goes uh, i might have to adjust it but for right now i think we're ready to go yeah let's go ahead and jump into this so yeah you can see here there's single player and then there's multiplayer i think for a game like this the fact that they have co-op is uh is a pretty cool and pretty big deal um especially for a game that has been on kickstarter for a while now so yeah it's going to jump into some single player. Serve up the run. I want the spirit of the island. Oh, I remember. Okay, so we did like character customization. I will take this pretty much. Um, well, let's actually just make it short here. Um, 
I'm gonna make this uh, kind of like, like I'm gonna try to make this a serious uh, playthrough here. So our property name, our town name, and our region name. Um, I don't really have anything smart <laughs> for it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, kind of just go off of a list here that we have. Um, let's see, let's see. Well, I would go off of our list, but the list that we have wouldn't really make much sense now for any property names, town names, or region names. If anybody has any suggestions or any ideas on what property name, town name we should do, just go ahead, throw them down in the chat. We'll, we'll definitely get it going here. Property name, it doesn't really say, I think the property name is gonna be our farmstead. So whatever you think a good farmstead would be, um, our town name, I would say the name of our town, region, name of our region, and so on and so forth. I heard you can raise animals on the game. Yeah, this is like a um, a farming sim type, right? He's playing single player, so he can still be cans alone. That's exactly right. <laughs> You've been playing the demo and you already like it. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? It's good. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hello, Chris. How are you? Hello, Art Vandalay. Hope you're doing good. Looks like a crossover of Moon Glow Bay and Grow. Um, I, 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 I. I <sighs> I would say Moon Glow Bay. Grow, maybe not so much. You could probably throw in like, um, you can make yourself blue, yellow, purple, pink, anything. Maybe kind of like a uh, Harvest Moon-ish esque type thing. Property name, forehead. Perfect. Uh, so since this is gonna be our ranch, this is gonna be the big, no, 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 the big forehead. That's good for a ranch. Yeah, I think that's good for the ranch. Now, town name, so, like, I, I, I assume, like, town name being, like, the town citizens and things like that. What are we looking for that there? Chat. How are we doing on hairstyle here? I don't know if I want white hairstyle. No shade to anyone that has gray in their hair. Like, I have gray growing in my skull. Danielle pulled hair out of my head the other night, and she's like, you have a gray hair. I said, no, no, I don't. And she says, yeah, you do. I said, no, I don't. And she yanked hair out of my head and sure enough there was freaking gray dude this is not the time um you can go nothing we'll go with i guess this is okay this is all right hello queen how are you evening cans just watched your stream from earlier just to let you know that pigs in a blanket in a pork sausage wrap and bacon and it's for a christmas dinner in the uk i did see that I did see someone, uh, was that you that, that commented? Because I did see uh, someone uh, mention the, uh, the the pork the pork with the, uh, the the bacon wrap, which sounds freaking amazing, I tell you what. It sounds very, very good. So the town name is going to be... Um, let's go off of a member here. Let's go member will be our most recent member to re-up, by the way. Thank you so much, Chemo. That's actually a pretty cool name, Chemo. And then the region name, we can uh, name it for our other most recent member. That is going to be Boyas. Well, let's put a little, let's like put a let's put a spin on this. Boyas, Boyas. What is it? Um, what's something good? Boyas. Region name. Boyas Beach. Boyas. Boya's Biscuit? <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, Boya's Bay! Fantastic! Yes, yes, yes. Boya's Bay! Oh, that's wonderful. All right, so there we go. We're going to have the Big Forehead Ranch at our town name, Kimo, which is another member. And then Boya's is also another member that just re-upped the membership as well. So Boya's Bay. Fantastic. Love it. Great job. I think, that was, I think we did well. Now, for the eyes, really, um, I want very... Uh, I like that. It's a little cheerful eyes. Um, that's like cross-eyed there. Let's go for... I kind of like this eye. <laughs> I do. I kind of like the nonchalant looking eye there. Kind of reminds me of like, uh, uh, like a Snow White Dwarf there. Okay, so there we go. Hello, Reagan. How are you? Good to see you. 
boys and girls? That, that's funny too. You have one or two gray hairs. Check them. Check my image again, then tell me to <laughs> then tell me to. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Game mode. So childhood. So we can be countryside lover. So I think this all has backstory to it. It does. So we have countryside lover, survivor, food lover, popular kid, builder, collector. Oh my lord! Wow. Um, countryside lover, you love everything about living outside of urban areas. Taking care of a farm brings you joy and animals mean a lot to you. Manual work is also something that is not hard for you. Okay. Survivor, you learn to defend yourself during school and how to find different types of plants and organic things in the nature. Foraging and discovering are things that you really love to do. Food lover, for you, cooking is an art and spices are gold. You always think I'm different in different ways to cook, not only on the land, but you also know how to deal with different types of seafood. Popular kid, as a kid, you love to talk to other others and people always enjoyed being next to you. Joining your friends in many adventures was part of your big, uh, big ch childhood. Builder, everything can be fixed, uh, fixed or created. As per your imagination, you love building stuff and destroying things as well. Connecting logic and crafting defines what you have become today. Collector, you are fascinated by everything the world has to offer. Food, people, animals, challenges, and even danger. Living the life, as some may say. This is interesting. Um, honestly, growing up as a kid, you could definitely say I live in a more of a countryside. I know I live in California, but guess what? California is like the size of Europe. No. <laughs> um, so, like, uh, where I live, it was mostly a, like you're more of a countryside type person. So you live, you you love everything about living outside of the urban areas. I wouldn't say that like full, you know, full of heart. But I do like not being in a giant metropolitan area. Taking care of a taking care of farms brings you joy. There was one time, and there not one time, but there was growing up. We did uh, take care of pigs, and we sold pigs at our uh, like animal market. I forgot what it was called, but um, every year there was like a farmers market type thing, and we would always like sell pigs and uh, and, and things like that. Um, and animals mean a lot to you. I have family who owns horses and, and things of that nature. So I'm going to go with countryside lover. By the way, one thing I do love is I love horseback riding. I might not look like I am a horseback rider, but dude, horseback riding is, is pretty sick. And if you've never like ever done horseback riding, I would recommend it. <laughs> I would recommend it. So game mode. Easy? No. Adventurer. So there's only two modes. There's only easy and normal. That's interesting. So easy will make survival needs are low, stamina recovers faster, creatures are less aggressive. Uh, this could be good if you're in it for the story, right? The explorer. Normal is survival needs are normal, stamina recovers at a normal speed, creatures will attack on sight. Not too bad. But we're going to leave the tutorial on and uh, let's go ahead and jump into Spirit of the Island. Hello, hello, hello. Reminds me of fantasy life. Hello, Anna Drill. How are you? Chang, Changling, 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 a Lang Dang. How's it going? It's been a while. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. So I know your parents treated you well. Don't worry, they will wait for you to meet you again one day. Oh yeah, I forgot. Isn't this like really like uh sentimental? Oh. It's time for them to rest while you start your own journey. So good. There's so much to see. Now this gives me definitely Moonglow Bay vibes. And even more to discover. So somebody did say earlier that uh, steep price point, right? Um, and and I would like to play through the game to see where we're at, like gameplay wise. But I personally don't have a big problem paying a little extra for an indie development game, indie developed game, because um, after all, they put their heart and soul into a game. If it shows, right? It has to show through the game. Um, so yeah, when it comes to that, I, have, I don't have a big problem with that. So arg. The boat is gone. At least I am on the correct island, I, I think. All right. So welcome to the Boys Bay. Hey, Boys Bay region. This is a quick guide to you 
uh, to get you started in this game the camera is fixed right um, you have also basic human needs like hunger thirst and fatigue yes one last tip before I let you go explore the island interact with objects when you can objects that you can interact with will display with E a first task try to find your home <laughs> So we just crash landed on an island that I think it's my island. Um, go try to find your home. That's your first task. Well, that, that seems like a very daunting task, I will have to say. So yeah, here we go. Oh, looks like, oh, there's arrows. So there wasn't any arrows like this um, in the tutorial, I don't think, or the demo that we played. Sorry, not the tutorial. But we will get some foraging done. Get a little bit of coconuts. It feels like the game has definitely changed since the demo build. Like, just the looks of, like, the UI and everything as well. So, follow the road to the north to reach Kansas land. Ah! If you go south, you will reach the pier. Got it. Let's see here. We want to go north. Yeah, we want to go north. <clears throat> 25 bucks isn't exactly steep. It's a strong price for an indie. But if it's decent, then it's appropriate. Yeah, it all depends. It really depends, right? For sure. So as you can see, you hear the dogs, right? They're ridiculous. Of course. As you can see, there are many places to discover. Each time you find a location, you will gain some experience for the exploration skill. There are many more skills for you to unlock and upgrade. Very good. Very, very good. So we have a couple of tasks here. So this is, we already know, like this is our house. We're, we're very familiar with this. We have a couple of tools that we're going to have as well. So this must be the place. What a mess. But the house looks like it is in one piece. I wonder why my parents wanted me to come here. If I remember correctly, find the house, found it, and make it my new home. And then look for the elder. She is responsible for the local town around. Perhaps I could use this to get started and fix them this mess. Also, maybe it will be good to find something to eat and drink soon, and later on, get some rest. Well, let's get that letter and take a look around. Letter? Yeah, get that letter and take a look around. I also need to get to know the town. So this is your home. It is a little bit rusty and dirty now, but with time, you will be able to upgrade and create new furniture and machines. Here, you can build your own farm, your shops, and much more. Make sure it becomes a beautiful place for tourists to visit. Ultimately, we want, like... Our tourists to be happy i guess right it's like hawaii you know the locals are like good god almighty like 60 70 percent of our economy is due to tourists but like sometimes even locals want to break you know what i mean um, also when you get tired you will have to sleep there is a bed on the second floor you can change it later remember that you need to sleep to rest every time you sleep the game will be saved and if you have a good sleep, you may gain a positive buff where your energy will replenish much faster for some hours. The same happens if you eat a good meal. Your health may replenish for a while. Now, if you don't, if you didn't already, get the wood axe, the shovel, the watering can, and the pickaxe. Those are very important tools for you to start your crafting, crafting your own buildings and get to work. And with time, you will also be able to upgrade those tools. One pet peeve that I have is when sentences are start with and. That's just, that's just me. I, but I do it. That's 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 the thing. It's like I do it sometimes too. To build new objects, buy animals, or craft items, you will need to use a hammer. Hammers can also be crafted, or you can buy them from a trader. With a hammer equipped on your quick slot, just select it and use the creation menu. Uh, right, we can do that. Let's grab our watering can too. So one thing that we want to do is make sure our hotbar is somewhat cleaned up. Uh, the inventory system in this game is kind of... It's, it's pretty cool. I'd have to say it's pretty cool. It's pretty easy. If you don't have more water, you can use the watering can to get some from the rivers or lakes, but not from the sea. I like that the game actually uh, cares about this. Rivers and lakes, not from the sea. Uh, most of the games like Stardew Valley, Harvest Moon, have you. You can actually just get water from anywhere, even the ocean, and it's fine. Your watering can can be used to water your crops. Later, you may unlock some items to speed that up. Probably like a sprinkler or some irrigation system. Just go to a lake, equip the watering can, and use it for the interaction. Maybe give me the shovel. Shovels can be used to dig in the ground. So I don't really need an explanation to that. Pickaxes are the only tools that can mine minerals and destroy some rocks. Easy enough. And then axes, probably something with wood. <laughs> Chop trees down and even cut objects. Alright, so there we go. Cool. 
So real quick, we can use the, the inventory system now. You will gain XP points while doing many actions, like chopping a tree, discovering new places, speaking with people, and many more. I like that you get XP for speaking with people. Uh, you know, it gives you more of an incentive to go ahead and talk to people and learn more about them, right? I like how the game does that. There are two types of experience points, overall experience and then skill-based points. Yeah, so this game has a lot of skills, if I recall. Overall means overall means how famous you are in the world. The more famous you are, the more tourists will become attracted to the town and your property. That also means more pirates. See how this is going to get potentially spicy. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Skills are the points you gain when you do actions or interact with objects or people. For an example, if you chop a tree, you will gain points for foraging. But if you discover a new location, you will gain points for exploration. Each new skill has its own thing. So, so far we have places discovered one. So we have places discovered, caves found, boats, letters, treasure, quests, times fainted, <laughs> tourist record, festivals visited, love to see that, festivals held, so it looks like we can hold our own festival, items harvest, items sold, fish caught, pirates defeated, creatures defeated, and so on and so forth. But what I want to do is I want to go into the inventory system here. That's what I want to do. So there are many types of items you can equip. Others are materials to build something or even consume. For an example, you can eat apples to decrease your hunger. Very easy. Useful food and organic items can spoil. So yeah, you actually, you actually got to like worry about your food um, spoiling, which I, I, I kind of like. I, I do. I do. But I'm interested to see if it will become a like food that decays. Hopefully it doesn't become too much of a bother. Um, but I'm sure cooking meals and things like that. Uh, certain things you can maybe make that has has the food not decay so fast, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, you can get items while foraging. Yes, yes, yes. Destroying things many other ways. Very well. So the way the hot bar works is it can be a little bit, little bit confusing for some. So the first row here is your hot bar. Everything else is like your inventory. Uh, what I like to do in any of these games to start out with is I like to just simply like... Um, kind of categorize you know so the machete is going to be <coughs> our weapon so you could say like our sword i like to have the sword um what is it? i like to have the sword uh first you could say yeah um and and so on and so forth so real quick can we actually uh put these like th this 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 hap like this is all good right so if i wanted to go water bottle to let's say five does that work or do we have to unlock this little bit here? I don't know if this this is technically unlocked yet. It does say, actually it does say 9 out of 18. So it should be unlocked. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let me let me rephrase this. This is just the inventory. This is, does not represent any of the hot bars. I wish it did, but it doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this machete 1. You can see down here it's changing. Uh, pickaxe is 2. And then what I want to do is I want to make uh, probably the regular axe 3. Um, the shovel four, hammer five, watering can is good at six, and then I'll just fill out the rest uh, with like water, apples, and coconuts. There we go. So if this represented the hot, hot, hot bar, you could say, I would, I would, I think I would enjoy that a little bit better. <laughs> That's fine. It's all good. We're all good. Um, so yeah, these are going to be our skills here. So we have farming, mining, foraging, cooking, fishing, crafting, electronics, social, combat, and exploration. A lot, a lot of stuff within here, right? A lot, a lot of stuff that I'm really excited to, to jump into. Uh, messages that we'll learn about later. Uh, calendars, which is, I'm going to look into that here in a sec. This is the world map. So right here, this is the big forehead island. Wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, but you can see how many different islands there are in this game. So that's, that's pretty cool, right? There's the main hub main island here that are going to have most of the citizens uh, and luckily we have a bridge connecting to it so that we can you know do what we need to do the calendar itself has kind of like you would see in sardu valley or uh you know harvest moon story of seasons whatever game you play you can see whose birthday i guess is coming up i would i would assume you can't click on these which is kind of interesting i don't know why maybe that will change in, in, in a couple of days maybe when we get past the tutorial but you can't click on it and be like, oh, this is whose birthday, unless you have to actually talk to the person and, and figure out who he is, which that would be more realistic. Uh, this looks like a festival, maybe of some sort. So that's very interesting to see. Uh, this is the diary. Apparently, it's a work in progress. Like I said, early access. 
and then we have what is this relationships yeah relationships all different kinds of the characters that we have and then our own money so this is something i really really like in this game and then i looked at, at it in the demo a little bit is that we can actually see a full breakdown of income and outcome here daily monthly and yearly um right now we only have 50 dollars. it just is what it is but you can see that you, you have your income from shops your rents and exploration now you might be thinking wait income from rent and shops yes you can probably um you know have your own shops in town that make you income you know with staff and tax in general so there's a lot of cool things that you get from this game potentially that we're gonna have to just get ourselves into so now with all that out of the way it is 1 10 p.m let's see knowing the basis collect the following resources 15 stone let's do it order by order here so um i mean this honestly is stone right like we could just go ahead and like collect that maybe yeah we'll just go ahead and click this this is nice stone here we'll pop this and um I like the sounds in this game. The music is good. I, I do remember that. Having good music through the demo. So knowing the basic is done very well. Now, one thing that I'm already kind of seeing a little bit of an issue is is the UI for the quest is kind of cut off. Um, I don't know why it's cut off, but it's cut off. So it looks like it's five duct tape, five wood, I think. Maybe, I, let me see here. I'm going to see if I can, oh God, let me see if I can like, potentially fix that um nope i thought it maybe if it was like out of what is it out of uh out of resolution but it's not yeah so there's a little bit of ui cut off here that's a little unfortunate but i'm sure that will be fixed um so we want earth and we want wood so we can definitely do that we have our little chest here that needs a that needs keys and there's a bunch of chests that are actually scattered throughout the land that you actually need to go ahead and uh, get keys for now i don't think there's like a limit to how much you can carry so i kind of want to like get just it all here since we have it all here a little bit of easy stuff there we go mining oh god plant fibers carrot seeds wheat seeds um and in my farming this time around because i didn't really care about it during the demo because it was just the demo um i will probably like take a little bit more serious action towards how I'm going to be placing things and whatnot. Let's go ahead and cut this down and all that. Hello, RJ. Good to see you. Hello, James. How are you? Have you heard of the game? Nobody saves the world. I've never heard of that game. <clears throat> Seems like a really big game with lots of content. Yes, I would have to agree. Can you instantly switch back and forth between mouse and keyboard and controller in this game? Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's test it out. So I have my controller. I'm going to go ahead and plug my controller in. And it looks like you can. Now, how, how the controls work, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try out the, the controller for a little bit. It does feel very natural so far. I mean, like, um, sometimes you have, like, weird control schemes placed, like, weird inputs, but... Like right now, what I'm doing is I'm holding down the trigger to, you know, swing at something. I press X initially. <laughs> That's good. There we go. Getting some fat from these bad boys, these big, huge uh, thorns. One thing that was a weird thing um, in the demo is the camera angle sometimes can be a little funky, um, depending on where you're at. That's all right. So you can switch to the hotbar with LB, RB if you're on an Xbox controller. If you're on a PlayStation controller, L1, R1. Um, but yeah, looks like our food in, uh, you can see our food and water is already coming into, into a little bit of a factor here. Duct tape we're gonna have to make at our workbench probably. Uh, we need some earth, so we have to dig the ground to get earth. Now, I'm gonna kinda come over here a little bit, because I believe there was maybe a dig spot. Because I don't want to just randomly dig somewhere. <laughs> at least nowhere near my plot. Maybe here. I'll dig randomly and get some earth. Bag is full. All right, did not see that one coming. <laughs> uh, all right, so if we wanted to look into our inventory, oh, look at the flashlight. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I love that a lot. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we just have a ton of seeds. That was another issue when I when I first played this game in the demo, like how fast it was to like fill up your inventory in the beginning with all the seeds. That's fine. Um, so let's see here. Let's go and do build. We want to build, so let's build something, maybe, possibly, if we have the have the option. Wood logs, we don't have enough of that. We only have 
three. So we're going to need to get some more trees. We already have a workbench, though. Um, what about, like, just a simple, like, a simple chest? Is that everything? Oh, then there's grass. Oh, my lord. Grass. Oh, my God. Look at all this. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's so much stuff. Sidewalks. Holy moly. Stall shop. So this is what I was talking about when you rent out your own shop. You, you, you know, you get your own shop going. You can sell stuff. Have a little bit of passive income as well. Simple staff house, staff tower, fancy house, and all that. Big garage, small garage, and a bike. Hey, there's a small chest. So we got to get wood plates in order to get a nice small chest. Now, I don't know if our... Um, you can get aquariums. How cool is that? I don't know if we already have a, uh, a chest inside. Let's go inside. New location discovered. Do we have a uh, house? Why is this place? This place is all torn up. It is. I can't, like, destroy any of this. Yeah? Oh, I can. Oh, wow. So this is definitely different from uh, the demo. Uh, in the demo, we had a uh, second story. I think we went upstairs and went to bed. This one, we're just flat out have what we have now. There we go. None of this stuff is going to give us really any good materials. We're just kind of demolishing it just to demolish it at this point. We're going to need to get some drinks, some food. It is getting late already on our first day. First day went by so fast. There's a part of me that wants to just kind of like take the second day and explore, look around, uh, maybe meet some people and all that, right? Especially like discover your story, visit Chemo and talk to the Elder. Uh, that's one of our quests anyway, so this might, might be what we do. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and take a nice drink of water. Bag is full for the empty bottle, I'm assuming that's what that is. And let's have a nice apple. And maybe another one. There we go. We feel less hungry. Cool. And then we'll continue taking this stuff out. All, obviously, all your weapons have durability and all that, so it's all good. <clears throat> Darn it, you already want this game? Yeah, this game, uh, and it's, again, I'll, I'll say this again, uh, it's early access, so there's gonna be more added to it in the future, which is, uh, gonna be fun, I, I assume. Right. There we go. <laughs> Been playing the demo, really like the demo. I was try uh, Simon, hello Simon. I just tried the game on 1X player and the controller wasn't working, but maybe it was because I was on the main screen and didn't start a game. I don't know, um, because I just started this game on keyboard and mouse, and uh, if that's what you meant, sorry, if that's not what you meant, and then I'm kind of just switching back and forth, and I just I just now plugged in the uh, the controller. So how much do we want to sleep? So it is almost 8 p.m. Um, I probably want to sleep maybe like until 6 a.m. ish. Let's like go nine. I know it's a little bit before. Let, let me have a sip of coffee real quick. Hmm. Good coffee, but God dang it. It's already went cold on me. That fast. <clears throat> okay. So, um, we need, first things first, is I believe we just need to go ahead and jump into getting ourselves um, a, a chest. I think that's like one of the most important things right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to see how this mechanic works. So you can delete items fairly quickly, or you can drop items. Now, dropping items is individual based, which I'm not a big fan of, but that's fine. Okay, so let's see here. We want to make wood plates. Wood plates will give us... Um, we can only make six right now, so let's make six. I think that should give us enough. Enough to um, build that small chest that we need, after all. And it is a little dark, so hang on a sec. Let me actually see if I can turn up the brightness just a bit here. I don't know if they give me that option. I don't think they did. There's no... Um, auto item drag... Region name, all name, subtitles, this, that, movement, all of that. Nope. They really don't give you a, uh, I want to, I want to turn up the music a little bit. Um, they don't give you a brightness setting. Interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. That's not like games usually. <laughs> I know it's like really dark, but it, you know, it's 530 in the morning. We'll get it going. So another thing that, 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 that a lot of games don't typically do is that, you have to wait for crafting. You you craft something, you wait for it to get done. 
And I think it's a good purpose because I believe in the future you can get advanced workbenches. And then if you have advanced workbenches, then you can simply, um, you know, things will go faster, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> now, uh, let's go ahead and pull out our hammer and see. Was this just a small plate? Yeah. Oh, and plate. <laughs> Wooden plate and plant fibers. Wonderful. <laughs> there we go. All right. There we go. Now we have our small chest, and we can place it anywhere, really. Now, hang on a second. I want to see how this works. So anywhere we're standing, we can kind of place it just about anywhere. I can place it way back here. As long as it's on the, it's on the screen, we can place it down. That's, a, that's an interesting concept. Um, I guess using a mouse would be a lot easier. So I'm going to do that. Small chest will go right there. Wonderful. And then let's go ahead and jump into this. So honestly, what I want to do is I want to take all the seeds out. I don't want all the seeds right now. Just clear up our inventory space. That's basically all we need to do. I'll keep the other raw materials. Maybe except for fat. I'll keep these raw materials in for now. And uh, we'll... we'll uh, yeah, we'll continue. We'll continue and uh, we'll go discover some more of our island. The game does want me to make duct tape. How do you make duct tape? You need fat and plant fiber? Okay, well, I, you know what? Let's just do that real quick. Since, since we're here, might as well just do it. Okay, let's get the duct tape going here. All right. And we'll do the duct tape. How much do we need? Five duct tape? Five duct tape. One, two, three. Okay, well, I don't think we have enough plant fiber. No, we don't have enough plant fire fiber. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, let's go get some plant fiber. So I'm going to use my knife to get some plant fiber and some potato seeds. Very easy to get. And broccoli seeds. It's super, super, super easy to obtain seeds in this game. I don't know if that was like... I don't know why, but it is. Can we make five now? We can definitely make five. Okay, there we go. We'll get that going on. And then the rest of the stuff we'll kind of just throw in. So like uh, this, uh, this, and this. And we don't need the fat anymore. We don't need the plant fiber anymore right now. Small chest, only 10 items can fit in there. So we're already almost, you know, <laughs> where we're at. Uh, look at, like the flashlight's like one of my favorite features in this game. Okay, so, um, with that being said, let's go ahead and discover more. Now, uh, of course, well, since the duct tape, since the duct tape is done, go ahead and throw it into the chest, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. And then we just need to get more uh, wood plates here to finish off that little tiny quest. But I could also get a little bit of farm action, and I'm going to come over here again. And I'm going to grab my dirt that I dug up, like, yesterday. That's going to give me two. And I'm, the reason why I'm digging out over here is just in case if it makes, like, a hole in the ground, I don't want to... You know, I don't want to do it on my property unless I'm ready to do it. So there we go. There is one uh, quest. Now, interesting enough, will that, uh, I don't know, um, do you have to turn it in or is it just that? Is it just is what it is. Let's see here. Uh, this is active quest. So knowing the basics. Show completed quests. Nope. I guess we're not fully done with that. Uh, you can pin your quests. Way. So if there's like one quest that you just don't want to do, you can unpin it. We have all three of them pinned right now, it seems like. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> let's let's take a look at this real quick. So the craft, the rest of the required items, we've been crafting the others, right? The duct tape and whatnot, but that will give us 10 reputation. Uh, create your first crop will also give us 10 reputation, but check this out. This will give us, if we visit Kimo and talk to the elder, it will give us 20 reputation, but also relationship to Tala, which I really want to do right now. So we're going to walk around with a knife in our hand or a machete <laughs> or the machete in our hand. And we're going to go forward. Now, yes, I remember this gentleman up here, Tony, uh, wanted us to build the bridge. And I think this is how we get uh, across to the uh, to the main square. So, hey, be careful. There are some nails on the ground. I'm trying to fix the bridge. I don't know what happened. Sorry to not look at you. If I drop this now, we may have a bigger problem. Tell you what, if you bring me some materials, maybe I can finish faster. What do you think? And then we can chat later. So yeah, okay, I'll help you. As soon as I have the materials, I'll bring it to you. And he loves that. Plus two hearts for Tony. Thank you. This will really help. So there we go. We picked up another quest just by, you know, walking around. So that's fun to see. All he needs is stone, rope, and wood plates. Um, but you can see how, like, cluttered you definitely can get with your quest. Which I'm glad that you can just go and unpin and pin. Most games you can pin and unpin quests, so it's not like, it's not like evolutionary, but you know, look at this. 
I think this is apple trees. Yeah, this is an apple tree. Oh, wonderful. All right, let's come off over here. I think there was like a pond. Yeah, there is a pond. Um, I'm assuming maybe in the future you can go fishing for some koi. <laughs> if it is koi, I don't know what kind of fish it is, but just saying. Oh my god. What is that? Okay, that's a frog. See, this is the this is the thing that I'm talking about when it comes to... By the way, you can sprint. Um, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to the camera angle. There's a lot of weird, weird stuff going on. Uh, you can't really see over and about. So this is the big... I'm like afraid to go in here. But we're going in. Ancient cave. Expira exploration plus 20. I don't think I should be in here. Honestly. Okay, I see. Alright, so this is going to be kind of like a mine shaft that you would find in like other games. I'm assuming. So where you can get some good ores and stuff. I'm not going to do that right now. But it's good to know that we have that there. You can toggle and toggle on and off. Sprint if you want to. Looks like our water is actually getting a little bit low here. Have a little bit of a drinky drink. Which is, that is our like... <laughs> We only have one bottle of water left. We're going to have to refill some bottles of water. And I, I'm assuming we could probably do that in our, like, um, in our rivers, maybe? What is this? Whoops. The big forehead, private property of cans! You're damn right. I'm glad that I have a sign there. <laughs> I'm glad that we can, uh, we can make that apparent. Very good, very good. <clears throat> Duh. Your daughter's 21st birthday is on the 26th. That is incredible. That is a big, big day. Memorable day. There we go. A little bit of less hungry. What is this? What is that? Not sure, but check, take a look at this. There's like some like areas here. I'm kind of interested. So now that we're not, like I said, now that we're not in the like demo stages, like I'm full on like ready to like explore this island to full extent here. Oh my God, just don't hurt yourself. Now this stuff will hurt you, I'm pretty sure. The thorns, I think I got, I think I got yeeted by it multiple times. What is that? Like yellow? I just can't see. <laughs> Unless there's a way to like move the camera. I might have to look into the controls. Let's see here. Let's look into the controls here. Specifically here. Is there like a camera control? Rotate objects. Social. Movement. UI confirm. Um, no. There's no... At least for the for the mouse... Or for the... Uh, for the key... Or controller. There's no camera. What about keyboard? Rotation of objects. No. Quick slot, quests, stats, inventory, skills, messages, map, calendar, relationships, finances. No. No, uh, no on the camera there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back to the, to the keyboard and mouse just for a little bit and see. And we'll go here. Yep, I just hurt myself because I can't see. <laughs> Hopefully that maybe, I don't know, maybe that will change in the future. I just hurt myself again. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's a little wonky. There we go. Okay. Let's go here. Hello, Jessica. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, this is something I just totally never discovered on the demo. Look at these flowers. Forging flowers. I did not want to forage the flowers, but I did. I would like to forage. Yeah, harvest the uh, the apple tree itself. There's got to be mushrooms here, too. Oh, my God. There's just so much stuff. What does this go to? This is my property still. Okay. Let's not go towards our property. I'm gonna put the machete back in our hand in case someone decides to like pop up out of us. There are creatures. Um, and the and the creatures will will fight you. Like here, as you can see, right on time, right? A one-star crab. Okay, that was that's no, 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 no. That little freaking Sebastian crab just took 50 health from me. I'm not prepared. I'm not ready for that. Nope. No siree. You have yourself a good day. I was not expecting him to do 50 damage. <laughs> That's insane, dude. Okay, we'll just we'll just mind our own business and go this way. Yikes. That's very spicy indeed. How are you, Crystal? How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Look at all these flowers. So good. Oh, these little tiny pathways are really cool, too. Okay, I think we're coming to another beach that has more enemies on it. 
It does? Follow the road to the north to reach. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, I'll be, I'll, I'll be straight with you here. I don't think we're ready to discover this island quite yet until we're better equipped. Okay, that's the fork in the road. Yeah, so I think what we need to do is we need to focus more on, well, one, we, 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 we should uh, be, be getting our crops in. Where does this go to? You look at me, I'm all curious. So I'm just like wanting to know what, what this and that and that and this goes to. I like to get myself in trouble sometimes, right? Let's just go to the other side of the beach. Or just like a giant fork in the road. I'm looking at the map up here. Yep, that goes to more enemies. We are going to go the other way. Okay. Yeah, so probably the best, best plan of action here is to just go back home. Do what we need to do. Do our quests. Um, build our bridge. Right? Build our bridge for Tony so that we can get to the main island. Once we get to the main island, um, we can... Talk to even more people, right? And we can get that going on. So that's good to know. While we're here, let's go ahead and like take a bite of... Let's do some coconut. Oh, the coconut is thirst. Oh, well, wonderful. I thought he was going to pop it open and get some like coconut meat. I've had like coconut, like real coconut on the side of the road. Like there was a vendor selling coconut. Not here in California. When I was in Hawaii once upon a time. Um, years and years and years ago. There's a vendor on the side of the road selling coconut. And I never had, like, natural just, like, straight out of, like, cut the top off. Here's coconut, right? And it was, like, coconut water. And then you can crack it open to eat the coconut meat. Not a big fan of the coconut meat. Coconut water is okay. But, like, the coconut meat itself? You have to have, like, a specific... I don't know. It's, a, it's very plain. You kind of think of, like, Survivor. You ever watch Survivor? How they eat the coconut meat and how they, they roast it? You know, they roast the coconut meat, right? Anyways, um, our energy is getting way down here. I would like to maybe potentially just get rid of these. And as you can see, I don't know if you noticed, but when I ate the apple, my health went up. So when you do eat food, it does give you a little bit of a, a HP back. Go ahead and just get rid of these gnarly things. I hate, like, thorns, dude. Rose bushes and stuff like that. My God. Blackberry bushes. There we go. Okie dokie. So let's take a look at our inventory real quick. Let's go ahead and put some stuff away that we don't need. We don't need that. We don't need that. And we can test out the theory on water bottles to see if we need to refill our water bottles in a, um, what is it? In a, uh, like a river or a lake. And I think I have one in here sitting on the ground. Hopefully if it didn't despawn. Actually, it did despawn. That's a little unfortunate on my end. All right, let's see here. Let's go to this little pond over here. And let's try to see if we can bring in well, you know what? We don't necessarily need to do that right now. It would create some space. Ah, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> Talk myself into it. Just to test out this mechanic here. So let's go to our inventory. Sorry. And let's switch out the coconut, I guess. Or unless... Can we use this? I don't even know if you can use it. Empty bottles can be used to store liquids like water and oil. Go to the nearest lake. So I wonder if I just walk up to the lake. Then can I use it? I just don't want to like add it already into my hot bar just to do it. You know what I mean? So let's see here. Ah, so you actually do have to, you have to actually equip it. Okay. That, all right. That, that's, that's okay. I wish there was like a more of a quick action to do that, but that, that's fine. I did lose a water bottle though, unfortunately. Okay. We're getting low on sleep. Uh, what did we do today? Mostly we kind of just discovered Walked around, see a little bit of the island, realize that, hey, this island's a little bit more dangerous. It will whoop your ass, so uh, be careful. That was basically what we did today. <laughs> Is there something I can throw on here real quick? We need a lot of wood. Yeah. So maybe I can get a little bit of wood before the night ends. I'm going to chop down this tree. Now, I should be like careful, right? I don't know. I don't know if you should be careful on like which trees you should chop down. Some of them produce... Um, uh, apples, some of them don't, you know what I mean? Like this one, for an example, produces apples. Should I knock it down or should I not, right? Yeah. I'm gonna not knock that one down. I might not have enough energy to pop this one down, maybe. Energy is getting low and it's only 6 p.m. There we go, but we needed some wood logs desperately. All right, and then quickly, quickly, if I can, put some wood plates up here. Make, we're probably gonna need a lot of them anyways over the course of our time here. So let's make 20 get that going on that will automatically do its thing and then we'll go ahead and go to sleep oh there's our empty bottle oh we just picked up our empty bottle all right well well, well very well uh let's go ahead and sleep for 12 hours 
<laughs> to like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Hello, Chu Me. How are you? The wife, the wife sprinkles uh, brown sugar on the coconut meat, and it's and it eats and eats it this way. That sounds pretty good. I, I could probably get behind that. Maybe you can rotate the camera. I remember Moonglow Bay. I never learned to rotate the camera, but I saw that you did it, it, it with ease. So with Moonglow Bay, I first of all I played on keyboard and mouse, and then I couldn't figure out how to rotate the camera in that game. And then I plugged in my controller, and I could easily rotate the the camera. Uh, with the controller and then I never went back to the controller after I did that All right, so welcome back to the big forehead. Hey, we got mail wonderful. Hello I know you are new so I wanted to write a few things about our town here. I hope you are all set in your home Well kind of this is from Tala every month We have a few events and also, you know people get old gets old people get old <laughs> So remember the anniversary from the town folks, and I'm sure you will make better friends. For these events, if you want to participate, just go to the town center and interact with the big signal. I thought they were going to say forehead. At the town center. Hope to see you there. Well, that's wonderful. Town events. So, hang on a sec. Does that actually change some of the things and how these are, like... Can we click on these days now? We still can't click on the days? That's unfortunate. Alright, well. These are done, at least. So, let's go ahead and grab some of that. Uh, so, let's grab our duct tape out of our chest as well. We have one quest done, knowing the basics. So knowing the basics, build a furnace now. So we want to build a furnace. Which one is that? Is that right here? Which one is it? Here, here, here. Wait a sec. Anything here? Nothing there yet. Messages, map, work, work in progress. There's Tony. Look at Tony has 2%. Can we click on Tony? Oh, we can. Favorite food. Oh. We can discover his favorite food. I'm assuming that might be like an apple or something. Increase your relationship with this character to learn more. Awesome. Oh, I just got the jitters, dude. I love it. I do. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, uh, we want to... Uh, oh, you can actually make empty bottles. Oh, that's wonderful. Gas cans, wood buckets, exotic fish bait. I know some people are going to really like this game a lot. Really, really, really. Master key. I didn't even know you could scroll down. A gift. Puzzle, fashion clothes, flowers, basic key, basically what I need. Fertilizer, oh my lord. Dynamite, oh baby. It's all, it's all good. It's basically just like fantastic. However, I need to uh, figure out how to craft again. Look at this, we can actually change our clothes. I just realized this. We are a foreigner. I wonder if that's our reputation like throughout the town, right? Where was that one crafting crafting menu I had? It was the, uh, not the workbench, but like, maybe I did it on the controller. Hang on a sec, let me see here. How did I do that? Not that. It was when I... Oh, God. <laughs> um, how did I do that? You know what I'm talking about. When I made the... Um, when I made the when I made the uh, chest, how did I bring up that that little crafting menu? Oh, the freaking hammer, you idiot! <laughs> Got it. All right, so furnace. That's what we want to build. Now, where do you want the furnace to go? Really, I honestly have no idea. Um, maybe if I can, just slide it in right there. No, um, or slide it in over here, maybe. Like right there is fine for now. There we go. Excellent. 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 So now we have a furnace. Don't permanently want to keep it here. So if we wanted to move this, can we move it? So brick, iron ingot, silver. What do we need for brick? Firewood and stone. Huh. No clay in this game? Okay, I feel you. Gold ingot, silicone ingot, and copper ingot. Now if I wanted to change the location, I'm going to test this out just so we can see here. If I wanted to, like, move it and I destroy it, will I be able to get it back okay so you get back all the materials okay and then you can go ahead and replace it somewhere okay so at least you don't get like at least you get your materials all back right okay i'm glad that we got that out of the way wonderful so the last thing we need to do is now we need to get some rope in with the rope uh we can finally build this freaking bridge dude so what do we need for rope we just need plant fibers that's it that that seems very easy which we have a ton in here already there we go. Excellent. And then we'll do this. 
and make four ropes at least. One, two, three, four. Oh my God, we can only make three. Okay, uh, time out. We'll just grab a couple fibers right here. There we go, lettuce seeds. There we go, and then let's go ahead and grab four ropes. There we go, we'll have those crafting on the side. Could use a drink of water. Gonna use a drink of water. And then since we're waiting for this rope to get done, let's go ahead and refill our, our water bottles over here. Got to run back to work, catch the remainder of the stream on the upload. Got to figure out how to do a Premixin, Premaxin 4 lock therapy. So, you know, got to do work stuff. Thank you so much, Darren. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by and hanging out with us today. Really do appreciate that. I wish I knew what the hell you were talking about. But thank you regardless. Thank you. Good to see you again. Hope you have a good rest of your day. There we go. Looks like our full rested thing is actually going away too. So let's eat some apples. There we go. One more. There we go. <clears throat> all right. How are we doing over here? Rope is done. Fantastic. So now we have all the materials for Tony. So let's go back to Tony. And some of these things like this rock right here is probably like coal or some something, right? It's, it's something. I'm going to sprint up here. Yeah, that's right. Let's do that sprint button. I'm back, Tony. You know what, Tony? Can I actually give you an apple? Is that possible? You don't eat an apple in front of Tony. Just give him the apple. Did you find the materials? I guess I maybe I could. Yes, here they all are. Awesome. Thank you. I will be able to speed this up. Get some rest in your home. The next day, it will be ready, I am sure. Well, fantastic. Level up and reputation increased. A bridge to town. Now, Tony, if I talk to you, can I like... No, he's busy working on the bridge. All right. Wait, what's up here? Nothing. <laughs> okay, I thought that was a trail of, of some sort. Okay. So, uh, let's go ahead and create our first prop. Now, I like how that says the big forehead every freaking time, dude. <laughs> um, one thing I do want to kind of want to do is kind of plan this out a little bit, right? Definitely, definitely do. Let's see. Well, let's go here. So I assume this entire plot that we have here, like with all these stones, if we, for instance, can I destroy this? I can. So I'm, I'm assuming everything here, you can just flat out demolish, right? You can demolish it and then place all the stuff that you want. Like I'm assuming, right? Anything that's on your property, right? Cause if you go past this sign here, right? Then we're in our, I don't know. I don't know how this all works. Maybe you have to be inside this like fenced off anchor here. So anything over here, you could definitely do and, and tamper with. I'm not sure how this all works. I'm just guessing. Um, I do kind of like this wood fenced off area here. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but at the same time, the freaking um, the fence itself is all broken. There we go. Copper and stone. Interesting. More wheat seeds. So we're going to get a lot of crops going on here, I will say. We're going to need probably like, I'm assuming dirt, earth of some sort, right? To make these crops. No, don't hit the fence. Hit the, there you go. Hit that. I mean, I could make my own fence probably. Kind of fix it up a bit, right? You know what? Let's, let's go into this. So if I were to destroy this, do I get a little bit of wood back? I should, right? I do not. <laughs> I don't get any wood back on a broken ass fence. It, it's, it's fine. I, I understand. There we go. Okay, fine, there, there. <laughs> yeah, the, the broken fence, at least that one was broken. This one, not so much. So this one, actually, you got a pack of nails. So the fully, I guess, the, the good fence, you can actually get materials from. The bad fence, you can't. It makes sense. <laughs> there we go. I guess, wait a sec, that wasn't fully fixed so we got no materials from that i'm not sure what the heck's going on here potato seeds this looks like it would be fixed but i get materials from this no we still don't get materials from that i don't know what happened there there we go put those in there put those in there we're gonna need like a bigger chest here in a sec i tell you what i'm glad that we have a pack of nails though that's kind of cool i'm gonna grab those wheat seeds like i said seeds are definitely very easy to come by extremely easy now the game hasn't really talked about um like crops in different seasons and i don't know if that's gonna really matter maybe because it maybe this is a game where it doesn't have se seasons as much 
because we're on an island and maybe there's like one season throughout the entire year i don't know i'm not sure not sure at all all right so let's just take out all these fences here there we go and then we'll kind of like make our own little parameter i guess you could say this is exciting because when I did the demo, I didn't want to do this exact thing that I'm doing now. When I played the demo, I didn't want to like dive into like working up a, um, um, it does have seasons. Is that right? Um, I didn't want to work into like, I didn't want to dive into making my own, uh, big farm because I wanted to save that for like the game when it released. But now that we're here, and the game's released, I can really get into it. There we go. Like I said, guys, um, I'm going to be streaming for three hours today. And then, because um, I, I would stream longer. I would. I would stream longer, but I just got stuff to do this evening. But I probably will stream this again tomorrow. So expect this tomorrow. And maybe for the rest of the week. We'll have to see for sure. Because, uh, yeah, I think this game is pretty cool, dude. There we go. We'll do a little bit of that. A little bit of food action. Bag is full. Of course it is. Let's go ahead and drop some stuff off here. There we go. There we go. I think overall playing with the keyboard and mouse is just a little bit more easier than the controller maybe. I don't know. It's a lot more, more fluent, I guess I, you could say. Now, if I wanted to do a full parameter of fences here, there's our farm crop. Yeah, we're going to need earth for that. Basic sprinkler, quality sprinkler. You could have an avocado tree, a banana tree, a mango tree. Look at the, look at the cows, the cows, the lambs, the chicks and the pigs. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> this is so good. There's the wood fence itself. Oh, that's wonderful. Chairs. Oh, my God. I I'm a little bit like... I'm getting a little hot here. <laughs> getting a little heated. Fancy beds. Bridges. That's wonderful. You need a battery? Oh, I wonder how do you get a battery. Small aquariums. So I can definitely see this game since we are in early access, especially for the pets thing here. They're going to be adding even more additional content to this game. And I am kind of just like, I don't need to explain to you what's going on in my pants right now, but you, you can probably guess what's going on right now. So this, I'm going to kind of push this out a little bit than what it was before. I'm going to go here, right? I'm going to go kind of that way. So what do you need for a wood fence? You need, oh, you need nails for a pack of for a fence that might not be a good idea then so then let me go ahead and just demolish that <laughs> hopefully get those resources back we're not going to be making any fences right now um it's just it costs too much we just don't know how to make nails quite yet it probably doesn't take a lot to make nails but we just don't have that capability at this given time okay very good um so at least now we don't feel so constricted now we can go ahead and start uh clearing out a path for our um, farm plot, right? There's four months in a season? Or four months in a year? Maybe four months in a year? If there's four months in a season, I will be, uh, <laughs> that will be a very long game. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and clear all out all this plant fiber. This is where I'm going to be putting our first plots of land here. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Put the broccoli there. Put the plant fiber there. I need more. I just need another chest. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. What I'll do is I'll just clear everything off first. And yes, my inventory might be full, but I'll come back and get that stuff here in a sec once I clear this all out. I don't want to keep going back and forth. There we go. <laughs> and there we go just grab all this stuff real quick mostly all the plant fiber i guess unless i hit my max on plant fiber no i didn't okay okay now that we have that all cleared out for the most part we gotta like go back to we gotta go to bed here in a sec oh my lord i cannot believe how close we are to like passing out did you see that we are so close i didn't even realize that we need more energy uh 5 p.m 
yeah, about let's wake up at 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. It's going to be a little bit dark outside, but I'm going to just run outside, grab the seeds, and then I'll we're going to have to w walk over to the town in the morning here. I'm going to wait till it's daylight outside. By the way, things do cost money. I do have 50. I don't have $50 anymore, which is uh, a little bit of a shame, uh, but that's all right. I'm not too too worried about it. Uh, hey, just wanted to remind you, this is from Jordan, apparently. Hey, just wanted to remind you that my shop is open every morning. Come to see me if you want to buy stuff. I change my inventory every season, too. <clears throat> and I can buy your stuff, too, just so you know. Not really with a high price, because I'm poor. All right. Bye. <laughs> okay. Trader in town. That's good to see. So, oh, my God, dude, it's so hard. Oh, wait, flashlight. How do we do the flashlight? Oh, there we go. Flashlight with the keyboard. This is something I love. One thing I do not love is the fact that we got a lot to work with here. What is this? Organic trash? Okay, this is interesting. All right, let's see here. Um, I want to see if I can build another chest, possibly. Because I did not realize that we were going to be this far out. Or we could at least build a crop land re real quick. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw that down, like, right there for now. Yeah, we'll do that right there. So hang on a sec. I want to go to the, uh, what was it? The, um, what was that that I put down earlier? It was the fence, yeah? I think it was the fence. The fence. Was it the fence? It was the fence I put down earlier. Where was that? It was here. Okay, so wood fence. Yeah, so it does cost 50 coins to place one fence. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, that is wonderful to know. <laughs> so watch out for that. Um, let's just throw down something, I guess. One from this season. Oh, okay, so let's see here. One from this season. So it needs a seed of this season. How do we know what... So this can only grow in the spring. Okay, so since this can only grow in the spring, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put this first, um, I guess, in. So the beet. Put in the beet. Uh, this will be on... Rotation number... What do we not need out right now? I wish it was easier to do the hot bars. Like, I wish I could click and drag and put them in the hot bar. I wish this was a dedicated hot bar here. Um, I guess we don't need the empty water bottles right now. And then we'll go nine, and then we'll plant. Seeds needed, six. Okay, so you need six seeds. I see. So, let's see. Broccoli we can grow in the spring. Potatoes we can grow in the spring. Bella, we can grow in the spring. All different kinds of values here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do potatoes because that is the higher value. And that is six. And then what we'll do is we'll go here. We'll switch that out. Make that number nine now. Now we have the potato seeds. And let's send it. So there we go. We have the potatoes now being grown. And I don't want to harvest. I want to water. There we go. Water them up. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Go ahead and grab the remaining of the plant fibers that we have here. Now, to a lot of people, it's probably going to drive them nuts being like, oh my god, there's so many seeds on the ground, right? <laughs> I know, I know. Some people could be like, whoa. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put those in there. Put those in there. And this organic trash, I don't even know. This worth is a dollar. I feel like we just need to get rid of that, really. So, let's see here. Let's go inventory and then just, like, delete. Yeah, let's just delete the trash for now because we don't know if it's even worth having. I'd rather just get rid of it. It's a dollar. I mean, I was thinking like maybe we could sell it, right? We could sell it to the guy, <laughs> sell him trash. But I mean, even if we could, it was a dollar. Uh, I don't want to. If it was like a twenty dollar organic trash, and that might might have been worth it, but no, it wasn't. No. So now seeds don't seem so. Um, I, I don't want to use the word overpowered. But seeds now feel like, okay, you need quite a bit of seeds to get one uh, plot going, right? It's not like how in other games where it's like one seed bag, one bag of seed uh, goes ahead and fills like one plot, right? <clears throat> oh, you can use it for fertilizer? Oh, well, that's good to know. I didn't know you could use it for fertilizer. Well, excellent. That's good to know. See? All learning. All, like, all the stuff that we... Just will, I guess, eventually we'll figure it out. But that's good to know. Good shout there. Now I'll be more conscious of the fact of what organic junk is for. There we go. We'll add this stuff. There we go. Awesome. All right. So now that we have that going, we could keep going with our... What is it? Um, We could keep going with our farm and add stuff more. But I think really what I want to do 
Uh, I do want to go to the town, but I think it would be smart to get these going right now. So let's let's let, let's do that. Let's do just that. Let's go ahead and dig and get some more dirt, more earth. Now I don't know if I dig in one spot if it will uh, if it depends on like what kind of texture here. I don't want to like dig a hole, but we need earth. I don't think we're gonna dig a hole. I think it would be okay if we just did this, right? Worms, I'm assuming, are good for bait, right? Maybe for other things, too. Yeah, I think if we just dig here, it's fine. There we go. Okay, so let's pull out our hammer now and see what we got going on. Get our farm crop. There we go. Oh, it snaps. Oh, how wonderful. It snaps. That's so good. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I approve already. I approve deeply on that. The fact that it snaps in there. Ooh, babies. Okay. So let's see if we can get another row of potatoes. Do we have enough? We do have enough for another row of potatoes. And then let's see. Let's get some lettuce as well. Um, we go ahead and take the plant fiber over. Get the lettuce. Uh, well, actually, hang on a sec. Well, I got cauliflower. Cauliflower is more. Worth more. So we'll do the cauliflower instead. There we go. So cauliflower will go up here. There we go. Reputation going up. XP and farming is going up. You love to see it. Very happy. There we go. Uh, inventory. Grab this. Do that. And then put the potatoes over here. Wonderful. Get these going. And just basically start up a farm that we needed to do a long time ago. Really, you should have been doing this maybe on day two. And we're on day four. So, yeah. A little slow to the start of spring here, but that's all right. There we go. Um, I could continue. Honestly, I could. And maybe I should. So let's just go ahead and get some more dirt. And we'll start farming that up. Anyways. Hope you're all having a good day. This is a pretty cool game so far. Um, I know I really enjoyed the demo. And I knew that I was going to enjoy the, uh, the game when it released. Ugh. Not a fan of cold coffee, man. Like, I'm a fan of cold coffee on ice, you know? But when your coffee was once hot and now it's cold, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> Even though I know that coffee has to be hot before it's cold. Believe me, I know the logistics behind that. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Let's go here. <gasps> no. You will not block me. You will absolutely not block me, little plant fiber. There we go. There we go. Now let's see here. Can I put that down now? Fantastic. Awesome. One more. A little bit more of the uh, dirt earth. There we go. There we go. If you guys are enjoying this stream and you guys want to see more of this game, please let me know. Hit the like button. You know? I would really appreciate that. Alright. It's going to get really cool once we get to the... Um, to the... To the farm. Not to the farm. To the town. The town looks so good. If I remember correctly, I, I mean, the, I think hey, one subscribe. One thing that is very uh, hey, by the way, thank you, uh, Tariq, Tarek, thank you for the um, subscription there. I think it, one thing that I love about games like this is when they do a good job on the uh, what is it the uh, like the citizens, right? When they, when they do the citizens correctly, when they make you feel so involved and they make you feel like the it's, it's like a real live town. Like, I hate to say a real live town, but I guess what I'm trying to say is like you, you get emotions for the citizens. I don't know. You're emotionally involved, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, right? When a game catches you like that, that's when you know it's good. A little bit more. Okay, in the meantime, let's go ahead and plant some of these crops. It is getting somewhat late today. So we have five more, so we can go, uh, we can't go potatoes. We can go, uh, let's see here, we can go. Six, 12, we can do two of these, two plots. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Let's get some lettuce as well. Get 12 of those. There we go, cool. Get our beets in. I want to get maybe one more farm plot. Just one more. And that would be good. One more farm plot. Okay. 
inventory. Okay. So we have lettuce, we have beets, we have potatoes, and then I forgot what we have next. What is this? Ca uh, not cabbage. Um, <laughs> cauliflower, cauliflower. Okay. Let's see if we can get one more plot in. There we go. One there. Maybe more than one? Okay, that's it, that's it. I don't wanna build any more uh, plots anymore. So, one, two, three, four. So I need 12, 6, 12. Okay, I see here. I don't know if I'll have enough materials. Actually, wheat is, okay. It can grow in any season but winter. So we should probably get the wheat going on too. What I'll do is I'll make the rest. So 6, 12, 18, 24, perfect. The rest will be wheat. That's what we'll do. The west will be uh, the west. The rest will be wheat. I feel like wheat will be important. Maybe, I don't know. That's perfect on our inventory though. There we go. We eliminate a spot from our chest for now. And that's going in water. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's make sure all this is all watered off. Oh god. I think I might need to get a little bit more water. Yeah, I am. And it is getting late. Looks like we're not going to be able to... Uh, maybe, I don't know. We might not be able to go to the town today. We might have to wait till tomorrow. Carrots? Are carrots good? Uh-oh. <laughs> Were carrots a good, uh, good option? You need miller to process the wheat. It also can make chicken feed. Oh, well, that's good. Okay, so you need a miller to process the wheat. But then chicken feed. Okay, so that that that's okay. All right, it's kind of like a stockpile then for the future. Very good to know. There we go. Now, how much energy do we have? We actually have a quarter left. We could be okay to go. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, let's get a little bit of apples. We're actually running low on apples. We're gonna need to go forage some more stuff, or we need to go buy our own food. I think since we used up quite a bit of resources there, or consumables, I'm going to make a strive to town with the quarter of energy that we have left. Let's see here. Hopefully this won't be a bad idea. We'll see. So the bridge, new location discovered, 20 XP for exploration. Wonderful. Carrots, lettuce, and broccoli, broccoli can be cooked on a stove for a meal. I wonder... <clears throat> Also, apples and cherries. Oh, you can get a cherry tree in this? So this is officially follow the road to the Kimo town on your left and on your right. You will reach the lands of Cairns. <laughs> There's also a warning. Do not destroy the nature in this region. Okay, so we can't, I guess, harvest from here, right? 5 p.m. Now, I think there was like a homeless person over here, right? Someone in a tent? Yeah, I think I just saw the tent run by. Oh, oh yeah, this guy. So this is John. Well, hey, hello. I don't remember you here before, but memory is not as good as it was before. What can this uh, little old man do for you? Nothing really. I'm Kaz. Just trying to get to know everyone here. Um, I don't need anything really. I was just passing through. My name's Kaz. I was just passing through. Good to know you. I did not get your name. Sorry. No, we did get his name. Um, yeah, we're just trying to get to know everyone here. Oh, Cherry Bush? My name is John. I am. How can I say... Someone that likes to live a simple life. I don't care too much about some stuff. You can find me near my tent. I like to go around the beach and see the ocean. Remember, if you have a, any spare coin sometime, I am always here. Well, I don't have any for you today there, John, but good to know. That must be where you where you reside. <laughs> I'm not gonna... Whoa, what the heck? All right. He, like, did some wizard stuff right there. Kimo, hey, all right. So new location discovered. This is officially our town. Of course, we come here at nighttime, which, you know what? Thinking about it now, I'm not even going to bother. Everybody's probably in bed at 6 p.m. <laughs> this must be a retirement community here. Um, yeah, we'll come back during the day, too. Plus, it'd be nice to see the uh, the town during the day, you know, when it's not so damn dark. Let's go and get our flashlight out. Cross this lonely bridge of ours. And uh, we'll talk to the elder in the morning. So all we have to do in the morning is really uh, water our plants 
and then go into town. That's pretty much all we have to do now on day five. Pretty good. Alrighty. Welcome back to the big forehead. <laughs> and it'd be fun to get a bike too. Um, obviously, right? Let's get in here. Whew. All right, we'll go to sleep. Uh, 12 hours, six, let's go 11 hours. We'll go 11 hours, but now we need food. We don't have any food. I didn't see any apples in, on any trees going, uh, you know, going to the town now. Hopefully some of that stuff will spawn. Um, it would be nice to see how long, I don't know how long things grow in this game. Um, but we're going to need more water. I do tell you that. It'd be nice to maybe build a well. Probably be able to build a well eventually. So this is at, at 12%. So potatoes, 12%. Cauliflower, 25%. Which is giving me a thought of maybe it only takes like four days to make cauliflower. Which isn't too bad, I guess. There we go. The potatoes in. If at 12%, you're looking at maybe eight to eight days. Eight days or so. Seven to eight days for potatoes to grow. What is this? Beet. Same with beets. Broccoli looks like. Oh, you can do multiple plots at one time. Oh, that's wonderful. I didn't know you could do that. Broccoli looks the same. Oh, I don't have any water. Broccoli looks the same. Looks like, uh, or not broccoli, sorry, cabbage. Lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. <laughs> lettuce. Lettuce looks the same. About a few days. There's an apple here. We'll pick that up. There we go. Might as well, like, fill up my water bottle, too, while I'm here. There we go. Good apples. Let's see. Let's go inventory. We'll get our empty bottles in. Put that on eight. And then we'll get those in. Go. Does this give this gives us XP? Yeah, it gives us forging XP. Nice. Alright. Oh, there's another apple over there. Let's go ahead and grab that. Gotta survive! Gotta survive on the on what nature gives you. That's just how it is in the beginning, yeah? Alright. But I'm glad that you could do multiple plots at once. I wonder if you upgrade your tools once you do upgrade your tools uh, do you get I don't know do you get um, like a wider spread I'm not sure so that's watered that's watered go here go in between get both of them done and then finish off our last one cool all right let's head to the town now got nothing else to do but head to the town Obviously, doing sprinklers and irrigation systems is going to be a lot better to have. <laughs> Durability is running low on some of our items, though. Well, not our water can. I don't think the water can ever breaks, but, like, the axe is going to break soon. Oh, that loading screen is a little confusing. How many days are in this, uh, are in this, in this season? 30. Okay. Tomorrow, oh, is tomorrow John's birthday? That's John, yeah? Is it his birthday? If so, I would like to give him something. Anything, maybe. Wait, I can talk. Oh, I can see, right? So, John. Yeah, it is John. His favorite food is a cherry. That'd have been perfect to give to him on his birthday, but I understand. Let's talk to John again. Hello, John. Hello, thank you for greeting me again. Unfortunately, not everyone does, but that's okay. I understand I'm here for if someone has coin left or even a smile for what it's worth. I know I'm new here, but you know you can count on me if you need anything, right? Oh, he loves it. Thanks. It's great to have new visitors. The people here say that the island was once crowded with tourists. I wonder what it was like here before with more people. I would imagine uh, I would manage to get more donations. I enjoyed talking to you. Let's do this again when we get the opportunity. Oh, very good. See, that's the thing I like about these games is, those, is that social interaction with the characters. The continued, like, different... Oh, hello. Who are you? Diana, is she like a, was she like a photographer? Was she like having a camera out there? So halt, who comes here? Who are you and where did you come from? I'm Kans, I just moved into the neighboring island. Please, there's no need for us to be fighting. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm Kans. I just moved into the neighboring island. I'm sorry if I caught you by surprise. Um, Yeah, let's do that one. Oh my, you're the new person then, I'm sorry. Once again, I hope you can forgive me for my behavior. I'm Diana, and I'm the guard of Kimo. I know that this is no excuse for my behavior, but I was just trying to keep the island safe. And as we aren't having many tourists lately, when someone appears out of the blue, we generally aren't up to no good. 
Well, I should continue patrolling. It's a pleasure to meet you. And once again, I'm very sorry for what I did before. It's all right. Oh, no, she has binoculars. She doesn't have a camera. She has binoculars. I see. Well, we did just, like, stroll in with a machete, so can't be too upset with her. Let's go in here. What's in here? That's somebody's house. <laughs> somebody's house. All righty. Can we put away the sword? Like, I don't want to, like, have the machete just in my hand walking around. Ah, uh, what do we have here? So this is the elder's office in home. Visit only during the day. Let's go ahead and visit the elder. Oh, this is the elder right here. Tala. Well, hello, my child. Good to see you. A new face in our island. My name is Tala. Hope the, hope you like the stories. I have many to tell. I know how hard it is to begin a new life in a new place. That's why you can come to me and talk whenever you want. What is your name again? Well, thank you. I'm Cans, and I'm still adopting to changes. Good to know. Uh, adapting, not adopting. Adapting to changes. Good to know. I can count on you. I love stories. This island seems to be full of them. Yeah, I like that. We will have a good time uh, chatting for me. Uh, wait, we will have a good chat times. We will have good chat times for me. Knowing better the past helps me to have a better future. That's very, I like that. That's very, very good to know. Um, so you finally came. Your parents always talked to me about you a few years ago. Look at you now. I'm so proud of you. You know my parents and who I am? Well, of yes, it is your first time in this island, but I am afraid there is a lot for you to learn. I will explain, and I will begin by saying your parents are not really your parents. What? At least from birth, we all know that the real parents are the ones who love and care for their child. Anyway, you were found on a beach called Blue Shell Beach, southwest of this town. Visit there when you have time, and in your belongings, which was not much, there was a bottle in, with a message inside. There was a bottle? Well, yes, that one. And in the notes, I remember very well it was saying, learn the story of the world and the six elements. When you find the right place, you will be able to open the bottle. At the time, it was not clear for me, for me the meaning of the words, but later I understood it. You need to learn and read about the story of the world. And I had it with me years ago. The three ancient books that could tell the story. But someone stole these books. I am almost sure it was those pirates that started attacking us a few years ago. Maybe you should start looking in the islands where there are pirates. I know it could be dangerous. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, I am sure you have some questions. Let's hear them. I, I do. I absolutely do. Um, I guess let's say, where can I find those parents? Uh, parents? <laughs> where can I find those pirates you are talking about? I think almost all islands have pirates, but there are very there are three big ones with a pirate village on them. It's dangerous there. You can see in your map, you'll need a boat to get there. The bigger, the farther you can go. Talk to your captain if you need boats. There's a captain? Okay, I'm sure you have some more. Yeah, uh, what, why did my parents not say anything about this to me? Well, they wanted to protect you, that's all. At the time, they were living here with us. It. I told them that I could help you understand your past when time comes and here we are there's not really too much to say about that right now um no more questions okay yes i know it's a lot to think about my suggestion for you try to live your new life if you want to discover your past that's actually optional the present is more important and your parents took good care of you so it's is that literally like literally like optional that's interesting here you can make friends and i even could get some help from someone young like you. We need someone to build a new marketplace for us. You know, to help the town to become a good place for tourists again. Oh, I love it. The pub is in need of food and drinks. The workshop needs tools and materials. Our guard needs new weapons. And there is much more work to be done. If you introduce yourself to everyone, I'm sure they will start asking for your help. They'll probably leave letters at your home asking what they need. But also, if you talk to them directly, I'm sure that you can find more. And of course, you will be paid for your work. Okay, move on with my life. Build a marketplace. Talk to everyone. Get some work. Make friends. Got it. I think I will think all about this. Like, I know it's like so much to like take in, but it, it's exciting, right? It should be exciting. Very well. There's a lot for you to digest. Try to get to know the town and take your time. Just remember, try to have a good life. Try to have a good life. Very interesting. So discover your story. 
Um, all right. So discover your story. Find the missing books and return to the elder. <clears throat> Very interesting. Um, I like that they want us to do the marketplace here. Or a marketplace, I should say. What is this? Oh, John. Hello, cans. It has been a sad, sad day. I found a hole in my watering can and I'm out of potato seeds. How am I supposed to make my favorite mashed potatoes without potatoes? Can you bring me a new watering can and potato seeds within a few days? Yes, yes I can, I absolutely can. For sure, for sure. Very simple. Love that. <clears throat> Who is this? Samwell. Oh, where was I? I don't remember if that guy was actually trying to hide or going to work. What are you talking about, Samwell? Oh, sorry, I was thinking about the last book I've read. You must be new in town. Never seen you before. Is that one of our lost books, or is that just a book you're talking about? Uh, you were in another galaxy, right? Be careful not to fall. My name is Kans. Nice to meet you. No worries. I like to read, too. Always fun to imagine and see good stories. Let's say that. Right? Then you can learn new stories, real or not. They're always fun. I love all about it. Hello, Rich. How are you? How are you doing? Hope you're doing okay. We had a good library here. We still have, actually. But there are some missing books. The pirates came uh, came here and... Wait. The pirates come here and think they can uh, find treasures. So they end up destroying the books and taking them. Why would the pirates just come here just to steal books? I really want to read different stories. More than that, some are from our lands. Maybe someday someone can tell me more. When he or she goes to new adventures... Eh. Oh, I forgot. I'm Samwell. Let's talk again some other time. Maybe we can learn together. Okay, they're very cool. Hey, 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 no running in the hallway. Hey, hey, excuse me. Alina, hey, you are, hey you, are you lost? If yes, you can find one of my maps around here. You know those things with signs on it, made with paper, you know? Why are you looking, <laughs> looking me with that face? Thank you, little lady, my name is Kaz. I'm new here, so I'm still getting used to town. Oh, I see, welcome to our town, Kimo. I am small, but I learn fast. One day, I will design a nice machine to get me out of here. Oh, wonderful. I mean, I like here, but I want more adventures. I want to learn all this world has to offer. Make new friends, study, make robots. I can tell more uh, any other time. I can tell you more any other time. By the way, my name is Alina. See you later. No, 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 no. Hey, you, 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 little munchkin, little munchkin. Chavez? Hi there, my name is Chavez, and I really like food. What's your name? Well, hey boy, my name is Kans. Very nice to meet you. And I really like food, too. Tell me, what kind of food do you like? Nice to meet you. My favorite food is ham sandwich. You know, I think God created that so we could enjoy life more. The best ham we can get is from a specific plant. Wait, what? Specific plant? You need to search on the mountains. Usually is the best way ham plant excuse me okay you are now my new friend let's chat another time bye bye all right very well that's freaking crazy <laughs> how much oh we haven't really done a lot today oh it's already dark time oh no oh no oh well hello eclipse how are you good to see you, eclipse hello kenneth how are you good to see you kenneth hello cute little penguin good to see you how are you doing hope you all are doing okay <clears throat> So now it's nighttime. Now, John, all he needs is two potato seeds. So one thing that we need to learn is how to... Oh, it's raining. One thing we need to learn is how to uh, build a watering can. We could just give him the watering can we have now, but <laughs> we need one for ourselves. Now, this is interesting. Um, it started to rain now. Now, usually in games like this, you don't think of Stardew Valley. Again, I'm going to reference Stardew Valley in, in Story Seasons and Harvest Moon a lot, but usually it rains when the day begins because when it rains when the day begins i don't even know how i got 36 dollars by the way let's turn on the flashlight when it rains when the when the day begins then you don't have to water your crops so it's very interesting that it rained during the evening time and not in the morning time so i guess you could say did i need to water my crops if i knew it was going to rain you know what i mean does that make sense anyways let's see here let's go ahead and see what does it take to build a watering can iron it takes iron and nails now we have the nails all we need is the iron now i know it is nighttime but there is this little thing over here oh we're thirsty hang on a second let me just take a drink of something there we go and let me take a bite of apples as well there's a little bit of like dark 
colored rocks over here. And let's go here. No, no, no. Like this right here. I was hoping this would have been something that we can mine. Maybe not. Okay. <clears throat> Hope everything is good with you. Yeah, doing good. New game came out today, so very excited about it. Very, very excited about it. Glad to be here, right? Uh, let's see here. 12, 8, 10. Let's go 9. We'll go 9 hours. Yes, yes, yes. I think that will get us at like 5 or 6 in the morning. 5, 6, 5, 6. About 5. Yeah, about 5 a.m. It's going to be a little bit dark outside still. Is it going to continue to rain? Not going to continue to rain. We have mail today, though. This is from Jack. Ahoy. I want to remember you that I create and sell boats. Oh, wait. What? I want to remember you? Maybe that's supposed to say, I want to remind you. I want to remind you that I create and sell boats. Great boats. Stop by my home and let's have a chat if you want a new one. So we need a boat to get to the other islands, right? So just for like reference here, there's all these different islands, right? And the pirates are on them and we need to go check out the islands and whoop some ass, whoop some pirate ass, whoop some pirate booty, you could say. <laughs> all right, that's good to know. I do apologize for it being very, very dark, but um, that just is what it is right now. It's going to change here in a few seconds once it gets morning time. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and water what needs to be watered, right? Now, this is this is interesting. Um, it, it's not saying that these need to be watered. Like, you see how they're like, there's no water prompt here? Saying, oh, water this, water that. Is it because it rained last night that I don't need to water these? I'm not sure. But I'm going to kind of wait for the day to kind of flip over here in a sec. Like 6 a.m. There we go. They get a little bit lighter. And I'm going to check, take a look at the crops here and see if they're like already watered because it watered last night. I have it on your wish list. I enjoyed the demo. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Um, there's so much like it's early access. So there's going to be there's so much more like you could definitely see a lot in this game. Um, what is it like? Uh, like there's so like look at this. Look at this. All these different categories. So much stuff that we can do. And early access, you know, um, there's just going to be even more, you know, coming in the future. <laughs> so that's interesting. So we don't need to, we don't need to water these. Yeah, we don't need to water these because it rained last night. <laughs> Usually that doesn't flip over to the next day. Anyways, we need to get uh, iron. We do need to get iron. I forgot how to get iron. Now, I, I thought it was like from these types <clears throat> of like this. <laughs> But it's not. It might be just from regular stone, maybe? Can we, like, get a chance of iron if we hit the stone? Right? Not that. Oh, God. The bag's full. Like, these. Can we get a chance of iron from these? Let's see. That's just stone. Let me empty out my, uh, my chest here. So iron is in the cave. Hey, it's raining again. Fantastic. All right, so iron is in the cave. We'll go back to the uh, cave then. Okay, let's get rid of that junk. Get rid of the beets. So much stuff. We need to build another chest too. We absolutely do. Let's grab some apples real quick. I'm going to head on over there because I really want to like do this quest for, uh, for John. That's like top priority right now. <laughs> It will, I mean, he'll give us some money, which is good. I don't know how I got the $36 already. Some way, somehow, I, I obtained $36. I'm not going to argue it, but I'll take it. I think it was this way, the cave. Yeah, the cave's this way. Go this way. <clears throat> I wonder if I could do anything with those frogs, too. There's another apple. Let's go ahead and drink some water while we're here do that and then since we're here we'll go ahead and just quickly 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 refill our bottles of water here we go now i haven't been looking into a lot of our uh skills where is he um here so okay check oh this is cool so with the skills going up like farming you know uh one star level one you unlock and you can build a chicken coop if you get two stars you get a barn for cows. You get a sprinkler. 
um, three stars, you get uh, piggeries, beehives, basic fertilizer. So we get our basic fertilizer on level three farming, it looks like, right? Yeah. And then level four, we get cheese machine, clothes machine, beverage machine, quality sprinkler, seed machine, quality fertilizer, wine machine. That's pretty cool. And exotic what? What does that say? Exotic what? Exotic barns? Probably for like, what, like an alpaca or something? <laughs> I don't know. All right, so ancient, ancient cave here. Turn the light on. Now, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. But I'm gonna just start smacking stuff. I'm assuming iron would look a distinct way, right? Well, there we go. We got iron. <laughs> we got a lot of iron. Okay. That's wonderful. I get it. Well, we'll be able to definitely do what we need to do for uh, Mr. John here. We got copper. Copper and iron coming right his way. So we'll be able to use the furnace for the first time too. Now, I know that wasn't a lot that we just did in here, but that's good for me for now. <clears throat> All right. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and eat some apples. And then we'll go ahead and melt our furnace. Kimberly. Hello, Kimberly. How are you? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. And we'll come on over here. Let's just run. Hey, come on now. Y you know how to sprint. So this is gonna be the first time we're using the furnace. All right, so we're gonna need firewood. Now I, I assume we can make the firewood through the workbench. Yep, we definitely can. So let's make, uh, wow, one log makes three at a time. So let's make 12. That's gonna take a second. So we'll wait for that to kind of process there. I'm good too, Kimberly. I'm just, uh, you know, playing some Spirit of the Island <laughs> game that really a uh, new game that just came out recently uh, today to be exact early access so very very fun <sighs> we're gonna need potato seeds too let's go ahead and grab a couple of potato seeds luckily we have some there we go now wait a sec what does this do coconut what the heck what is this you can change the name of the I'm assuming the chest. Let's go plant. See, or sorry. Let's go. Um, let's go seeds. Maybe is that what that means? Yeah, seeds. Okay. Seeds. Okay, so it hovers above my head there. Seeds. Oh, I love that. That's a good little tiny mechanic there. Great job. Great job. Okay, let's grab our firewood now. Okay, we got that. And then let's use the furnace. Okay, we need, I think, just a few, right? I think just two, I think, is all we needed, right? It's like one or two for the, sorry, for the watering can. Yeah, it was just one. Okay. And then just two packs of nails. Luckily, we got our packs of nails <laughs> here. And then we desperately, desperately, you know what? Right now, we should probably just think about doing it anyways. We got to make a chest. So let's see. Let's do a wood chest. No, we're going to need another just small one because this is too much materials. Like... Iron ingot, rope, and a pack of nails. Actually, it might not be too much. How do you make uh, nails? Should be in here, yeah. Unless it's a it's a different kind of workbench that we need to make nails. No, there they are. Iron ingot. So we just need a bunch of iron. Okay. All right. All right. I understand. So iron is going to be very uh, very useful for us. I see. I see. I see. I see. Um, is there anything I could just slide over here real quick? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Desperately then need that. Uh, need that. So can I like swap? See, this is this is the problem. If you can't like pull and drag, you can't swap two things out. I want to get, you know what? Let's. Can I get rid of that flower maybe? That'd be nice to get rid of that flower. We don't necessarily need that flower. Um. So let's see here. Let's go here. Let's go. Let's go here. Let's go there. And let's drop this for a sec. Drop the iron. Pull this out. Pull the flower out. There we go. We'll pull the flower out and then we'll delete the flower. The long process just to do this. There we go. Delete the flower. Then what we'll do is then we will grab the fiber. Actually, I should have honestly grabbed the iron and put the fiber in. So we'll grab the iron. Hello, Noah. How are you? Hope you're doing well, Noah. Good to see you again. Welcome back. 
put the iron in there. Then we'll take the plant fiber. I don't need all of it, but I will take all of it anyways. And then let's go ahead and make some wood plates. Maybe 10. And then what we'll need to do is use those wood plates for... I wonder if I have like more than one. Like I want to make more than one chest. That's why I'm sitting at here. So we'll go one. Yeah, and then I'll have enough wood plates to make maybe... or. Yeah, maybe two more chests, possibly. Yeah, I'll have two more chests I can make. Okay, cool. Maybe I can put some inside the house, too. I was watching your Border Patrol Officer series. The Border Officer? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, that game... I, I, I want to make I want to do another run on Border Officer in the future, probably. Because I had a lot of fun with that. And um, I didn't get... Well, I don't want to say any spoilers. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I do want to give that another run. This feels like My Time at Porsche kind of style game. Kind of, yeah. Uh, my Time at Porsche. Wouldn't it, uh, yeah. Wouldn't it be a bad comparison? You know, uh, Stardew Valley, Harvest Moon, all, you know, all kind of different kinds of games. Um, I do want to get a, a key, too. So, hang on a sec. Let me see if I if I can go in here and I can build this chest. Yes, I can. There you go. Good day, good day, good day. There we go. There we go. So, we have two chests inside, two chests outside. Um, and they can really start organizing things from here. But we don't have anything. I mean, really, I guess. Let's put the worms inside for now. We don't need worms right now, uh, you know, for bait. Um, this is going to be strictly seed. So let's go ahead and take out the trash. Let's take out the ores. Take out, well, maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't do all of it. Let's put... Uh, trash in there we'll put the iron ore in there we'll put stone in there put earth in there put some firewood in there wood logs in there might as well put the copper ore in there as well there we go now we're making a lot more room in our inventory take that and take it no we need the two seeds we need the seeds okay now we need to start focusing in on making a pack of nails so, we need one iron. So let's grab the iron. Uh, we need a pack of nails. No, we don't need a pack of nails. Sorry. We don't need that. Where do you have that? Yeah, we already have that. Let's go ahead and grab the pack of nails. Where did I put the pack of nails? This one? Yeah. Okay, now we should be able to make this watering can for John. There we go. Grab just one. Awesome. Cool. Love it. Absolutely love it. How am I doing? I'm doing good. I'm just like enjoying this time. Enjoying the spirit of the island here. Pretty fun little game we have here. And um, yeah, just enjoying it, dude. I'm absolutely enjoying it. Let's go here. Let's go ahead and water what we need to water. Nope, they don't need to be watered, you idiot. They're already watered. Okay, all right. I'm not used to the whole like it rain half the day. Like it would be easier in my brain, right? It'd be easier in my brain if I... Uh, if I woke up in the morning and it was raining, right? You know, the fact that it rained in the evening time and then I'm like, oh, I guess I, I didn't need to water my crops type thing, you know? Okay, it is getting a little late for us. What time is it? It is 3 p.m. So we do need to hurry up and see John for a little bit. And then tomorrow, what we'll do is we'll focus on trying to explore more of this island over here at Kimo. Southwest to be exact. Not the airline. Don't get, get confused with that. But all right, let's see here. John, you should be right over here. There you are, John. Hello, John. I have everything. Amazing. You are back. Did you find what I need? Thank you for your help, by the way. Yes, I got all of it, dude. Wonderful. Thank you so much for helping this old man. Nice. Now, I wonder if that increases our relationship with John. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to head back towards the house. Keep up the great content. Thank you so much, XV Zooted. <laughs> XV Zooted. Thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, we'll head back to the to the house, and it's gonna get late. Oh, he did. He gave us money. I think we have hundred and eight dollars now. I wish he would have told me that I got money from him. Maybe it does in the quest log, but if it would popped out, you know, popped up in front of this, me on the screen, that would be kind of helpful too. Because some way, certain way, certain ways, I'm getting money, and I just don't know how. Uh, the thirty-six dollars, I wasn't sure. Now that we have hundred and eight dollars, I'm sure that had to come from John, right? Obviously. 
I do want to make keys. How do I make keys? I want to get this basic key done. A pack of nails and iron ingot. You know what? I think I might be able to do that. Hey, subscriber. Hey, George. Thank you. Thank you, George. Thank you for the subscription. Thank you for scaring me too. I was just playing the demo and there's a treasure chest just above where we start on the beach that has a larger backpack. Just need a craft key. Oh, ho, ho. George coming in with the freaking, with the clutch plays here. Big shout, big shout, George. So this is, that was perfect timing. Perfect timing, I have to say. Perfect timing with the, uh, with the key remark. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the iron. I need a little bit of firewood. Oh, you need three iron ores to make one iron? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Okay, well, I guess I know what I'm doing tomorrow. Going back to the cave. Going back to the freaking cave. Okay, let's see here. Um, 5 p.m. Let's see, where does our food land? We don't land very good on our food now, do we? Let's go ahead and drink a little bit of water. I do need to forge a little bit of food. We might get some in some apples tomorrow. All right, 12 hours. Thank you, George. Appreciate that little tip there. I do remember playing the demo. I do remember when we did a let's look at this video or look, let's look at this game. I remember there being a chest up north, but um, in the demo, I wasn't sure how to like get the keys. I wasn't sure if you had to obtain the keys, but you actually just have to craft the keys. Very simple, right? So it is 530. Um, turn the flashlight on. Let's head, let's head directly, directly to our mine. Grab a little bit of iron ore. So that we can make this freaking key, dude. So that we can open up a couple chests. Because obviously there's a chest right next to our house that needs to be opened up. Do not see any apples, I don't think. There's an apple right here. I'm going to sneak in and grab that. There we go. One apple. Let's go inside. Now I'm assuming, just like in every other game, the rocks do replenish, right? Oh no, the, the layout kind of changes, I think. Okay. It, it does look a little bit different. Let's go ahead and grab this. Let's get a lot of iron. Hopefully. There's a little bit of iron ore there. There's four. Iron is going to be a big deal. Because, you know, iron is a big deal in most games anyways. There we go. Doing this in the morning. Early morning time. I'm, I'm sure, you know, when we upgrade our pickaxe also. Um, <clears throat> you know. <laughs> probably make this process a little bit faster. Oh, what is that? Red ore. Red ore. What the heck is red ore? Oh, and that might make the, uh, not the silicone, but the other, the other bar. I, I can't remember what it was called. I saw it in the furnace. Not silicone valley. Grab that. Thank you. We're gonna have a lot of stone on our hands, too. There we go. Hey, mining skill improved, and look at there. There we go. We have a few other things that are popping up. Let's see here. Is there anything that I can just get, kind of get rid of? Well, I don't need this. So two plant fibers I don't need. Um, silver ore I probably need. Uh, two copper, I'm not worried about it immediately. So let's drop, sorry. Let's drop the copper, and let's grab these other items. So green ore and silicone ore. I'll grab those instead. We already have copper at the house. So I want to just like kind of like hold, hold on, hoard as much different kind of uh, materials as we can. Let's turn our flashlight off now. Okay, let's continue. I mean, we could be fishing, I guess, right? There's no like restriction against like building a fishing rod. I'm assuming we can build a fishing rod, of course. Grab a few firewood. Nope, that's wrong. Yeah, firewood. Uh, we don't want to do anything with the green ore yet. We don't want to do anything with the silicone yet. Nothing with the silver. Uh, red ore. Nope. Uh, just the iron. Wow, so much iron. I might want to make more firewood, too. I might want to make all firewood, actually. An iron hammer. I mean, durability, right? I mean, unless we have an iron hammer, this might be an iron hammer already. We might start with a basic iron hammer. Small bait. Dynamite, silver. Okay, silver is the next step up. Fishing rod. Okay, so yeah, fishing rod, we have no, uh, no restrictions. We can actually build a fishing rod whenever we want. 
That's good to know. That's very good to know. Um, I'm gonna go firewood, and we're gonna make 12 firewood. We're gonna come over here, and we start smelting some more iron. Silicone, silver, gold, copper. Okay. Let's make... I guess we can. we should make as much iron as we can, so 10 for now. Okay, we'll do that. We'll go ahead and harvest. Nope, oh, we need a water. Dang it. We actually gave we gave John the wrong uh <laughs> the wrong watering can. That's fine. We'll do that. And that will be stuck in our inventory for now, maybe. Uh, put it in eight. There we go. Alright, let's make sure we water our crops now. Two at a time. Be more efficient, right? There we go. Two XP of farming. <laughs> Now these are good? No, these are not good. These are almost good. I really like how the, the game looks here. The art style is really good in this game. There we go. Do that. Gotta be a little bit conscious of the time here, I do have to say. So the lettuce is done. Oh, that's wonderful. So, okay, so this is... Oh, all right. So I, I'm understanding. So when you harvest a, a crop, it just repeats itself, so you don't have to, like, replant it or anything? Is that how we're doing this? Is that how this game works? Most other games, you obviously have to, like, replant, right? Replant the seeds? Not enough water. Are you kidding me? One plot away. But hey, we actually have some lettuce! We actually have our first crop coming in, which is cool. Because, like, we can definitely, if we want to, um, we can definitely sell it. Right, do that, grab that, grab some of our iron and iron. I'm gonna grab a little bit of water so that I do not forget about watering this last crop here. There we go. We probably should put even more crops down as well. We are running low on food though. Good thing we have our lettuce now. Eat our last apple. Since we're here, also make sure to get some more water. There we go. Grab that. Oh, so, Cherokee said correct. I don't even know what I was correct about. I was just talking at that point. <laughs> There's gonna we gotta be uh, conscious of the fact too that uh, that our tools are about to blow out here. So basic key now. We should be able to make our key. Unless we need nails. Do we need nails? Yeah, we need a pack of nails. So let's make a pack of nails first. Wow, five. One iron gives us five nails. Let's make ten then. We'll make ten of these. Gotta water that last. Last plot here. Let's go here. Looks like these are almost done. Should make a uh, food, uh, food chest, eventually too. Oh, about the crops. Okay, so um, they do replant. That's interesting. I wonder. I wonder. That's that's interesting. <laughs> hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. So let's see here. Let's make sure that we have like a food chest. Oh, but the, okay, they'll die off in the season. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. Let's make a food chest, maybe here for now for the lettuce. Just for now. And then there's gonna be stuff that we wanna like build, right? Probably like something, in the, something that revolves around more crafting for us. So a pack of nails, done. Now let's go ahead and get the basic key down. Just give me one, I don't know. Is, is a key reusable or is it consumed? I guess I'm gonna test that out when I open up this chest here. My guess is that it's a consumable. Let's see. Yeah, it's a, it's a consumable. Okay, that's good to know. Hey, $200. Very well. And what is this? A traveler bag. A bag that can hold a few items. You can find better bags with traders and exploring. But well, wonderful. That's awesome. Now, let's see here. Uh, let's go backpack. Trade this out. Equipped. There we go. Hey, more inventory. Hooray! All right, in that case, let's go ahead and make another key. We'll make another key. And um, we'll start traveling up north to see and kind of discover a little bit more just to see in case if there's another backpack or so. Yeah, something. I mean, there's no problem, right? There's no problem with just exploring a little bit today. We did what we needed to do. Unless that was that bigger backpack was that key. That might have been... Um, that might have been... The, uh, the the bigger backpack because I don't think there's anywhere more up north that we can go to can't go more up north there 
And then all the way to the east is going to be our cave. And then even farther east will be our um, beach. Let's go ahead and like, I guess we can like, we can use, can we actually use this? We can use this as a chest. I don't like this. So I'm going to get rid of it. I don't think we need it. I mean, I don't like the way it looks. I don't like that it's open. So we'll just get rid of that. Cool. Awesome. Very happy hey, with that. Subscriber. Hey, you know, what are you doing? Thank you for the subscription. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, Janelle. <clears throat> okay, so one thing is certain though. We have no food. So let's go into town. Let's go. We still got a lot, a lot of work to do in town. Like we still got a lot of people to meet. Um, we have $300 now, which is cool, right? Maybe we can buy like a, like a snack in there. And like, I know like some people will be like, oh, you know, save your money for this or that and that and this. But I kind of like playing these games like almost in a, um, what is it? Uh, not like a realist, I guess like as, as realistic as like if I go into town and I'm hungry, I'm going to go, you know, get, get some, a bite to eat type thing, you know, keep the local economy going, dude. Right. So look who showed up again. I always see you running around up and down. You seem to be really busy for your age. Well, it's just that I'm getting some new crops and they come with a lot of work. Besides, I like to walk around chemo and see if anyone needs help with anything. Oh yeah, I always plan my days so that I am never s sitting still. Well, no, I don't really plan my days that much. I like this one. Plus five on John. That's cool. A few people, a few, few people value food. I only know a little bit about it. I know that I love orange juice and mashed potatoes, so I can recognize when oranges and potatoes are well cared for. Oh, well, that's good to know there, John. I wonder if the chests are random or maybe they got changed in the early access. The bag was in the chest on the beach in the demo. Helps a lot to have the storage. It does. It does really, it really much does. Uh, you know, and that's the thing. Like when I played the demo, um, I went to the beach and I fought um, the crabs, right? The, the little tiny creatures that were there. However, in today's stream, like the first thing I did was go to the beach and I tried to fight the crabs and oh my Lord. They do way more damage, I believe, than they did in the demo. <laughs> like 50 H, like one attack is 50 HP. Like that's insane. What is this? Is this mushrooms? Ah. Orange mushroom. Hello, Mouse. How are you? Hope you're doing well, Mouse. Good to see you again. Welcome back. <laughs> do I have any farm animals yet? Considering that we're seven days in, no. <laughs> Uh, farm animals are very kind of like not late game, but you gotta you gotta put some serious hours and do a lot of building before you get farm animals. Hey, um, I have been super busy building a new computer. Unfortunately, I've had to take a break for break because I am out of electrical wire. I would really like to finish it. Do you think you could bring me two electrical wi wires within the next few days? You would be helping me out a lot. So, my first in initial reaction here is no. And the reason why is because I don't know how to make electrical wires and if I even have the capability. So I can't really say no to her. So I don't know what happens if I hit continue here. I guess you're kind of forced into the quest. <laughs> well then. All right. Um, sure. So Chavez. Hey, Cans. Have I ever told you how much I love candies? I love them so much. I would love to make some candies soon. But I am missing some fruits. Do you think you could bring me some uh, two strawberries and two blueberries? Now, again, this would be something I would say no to because I don't have the capabilities of doing it. But I don't have the option to do yes or no. <laughs> so, I mean, unless I can go to here and be like cancel, you know, uh, I know I probably won't be able to do strawberries and blueberries that fast. So I'm going to unpin it. And then electrical wires. I'll look into it, but I doubt that I can probably do electrical wires as well. Yeah, I hope they they do change it to where you uh, can accept it and uh, accept it and decline it. So here we go, back with uh, Samwell. Just like the books that I read, I love a surprise. I didn't expect to see you here, but I'm glad I did. How are things going for you? Are you enjoying chemo? I like to read as well, Samwell. Yes, I'm enjoying getting to know chemo before I start to focus on my plantation. My instincts are really good. You look like someone that likes to read. Who knows? You might find a new book. 
or find a book that can help you with your daily task. And if you find one, please let me borrow it. I love learning new things. I love how we exchange knowledge in our conversation. Come see me more often. Very well. I'm not going to talk to the kids. <laughs> I want to move on from that little area there. We haven't moved on much more past that spot there. So what is this? Jordan's shop. Open in the morning and close for the rest of the day. Oh, that's Jordan's shop. Okay. Jordan sent us a mail, a letter saying, you know, hey, this and that. Water. Water well. Now, we are running low on food, though. Or our hunger, I should say. What's in here? Who's here? I just walked into somebody's house, house with a machete. I don't feel uh, comfortable about that. All right, let's go this way. Ah, looks like somebody has, like, their own farm going on here. Oh, who is this? Well, hello, Elizabeth. Hi there. Are you a tourist? It's been a while since I did not see one. Since I did not see one? <laughs> Are you hurt? Can I help you? No, I'm good. I'm not a tourist. My name is Kans, and I am a new citizen. Just moved in. Ah, well, I'm glad you are okay. So, you are new in town. Welcome, welcome. My name is Eliz Elizabeth, and I run the small clinic in town. I like to help everyone I can. The bad news is, is that we don't have tourists anymore. I mean, sometimes they come, but just a few. In the past, we had a lot of people coming. Of course, I don't want anyone to get hurt, but... They help the town to grow, you know. Anyway, I need to look for my husband now. Take care. Oh, you lost your husband? Sorry? <laughs> oh, who are you? Wow, look at your hair. I wonder... I don't... I don't know. I, I, I haven't really, really read into this game if there was any, like, romantic gestures or any, like, relationships or anything like that you can get in, into the game. I, I don't know if, that, if that's a thing or not. So this is Ivy. Well, hello, I'm Ivy. Nice to meet you. I usually don't reckon faces but since this is a small town we all know everyone right and you tell me about yourself uh i am sure that you will get to know everyone very soon almost everyone here is nice almost everyone well hey i see you like to talk <laughs> i don't want to say that um hi ivy nice to meet you too i'm cans it just happens that i have a property here so i'm trying to settle myself up uh i came from a distant land but i but we had some problems with pirates you know well, I'm always busy, so that's okay. See you later. You know I lost my mother when I was younger, so sorry. Let's talk about this some other time. Take care. All right. I'm busy, too. I gotta head back home and eat some food. I was hoping that I could come in here and grab a quick snack, maybe from, like, a diner or something. I don't even know if there is a diner here, but I was just kind of fantasizing a little bit about that, too. What is that place? Have we been there? I, I gotta walk in. Looks like a school. It is a school. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful. I'm a, like a box of fluffies. <laughs> is this from one of the demos played a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, this is. This is actually uh, one of the demos I did play a couple weeks ago. Uh, the let's look at that we had. Uh, this is this is one of the game for sure. Yep. Yep. You're absolutely right there, Mouse. Go. All right, it's almost 8 p.m. And our tiredness and our hunger is going down. We're going to have to dip into uh, buying, or not buying, but eating some of our lettuce, unfortunately. Um, it is what it is, but that's all right. So let's go. Oh, now we are officially tired. Now we cannot sprint any much more. We should be getting our cauliflower tomorrow, though. So I'm not too upset with buying, or not buying, but eating our lettuce, or a little bit of lettuce. Because we'll have the cauliflower to kind of replace it. I want to sell, I think, in the morning. I think I want to head straight to the straight to the shop in the morning and, and sell. See how that mechanic all works out. So let's grab some lettuce. All right, and let's go here and... Add that to the hot bar. I wish they changed the hot bar a little bit, too. That's another thing that I I do have to say. So let's see here. Let's go to lettuce. Oh, doesn't give you a lot of hunger now, does it? Not very nutritious. This is probably best used for uh, crafting stuff and, of course, um, maybe selling as well. I do not like that. That's bad on my part. I, do sh I should probably start uh, planting more crops, huh? Yeah. All right, let's go to bed. No, no, no. Go to bed. There you go. Okay, we want to sleep for about, I don't know, uh, let's go 10 hours. 10 hours should be fine. 
Yeah, the look of it, yeah, it's good. And so far, the story is actually pretty neat. Um, what we've learned in, like, I guess the first couple of hours here now, uh, once we got into the town, because in the demo, I don't think you could have gone. I think when we, when you play the demo, you couldn't go into the town. But um, once that, now we can get into the town, it's kind of cool. So let's see here. Let's take a look at a few things that we can get ourselves into. So we have the workbench. We have the furnace. A basic stove is probably the way to go, right? Uh, an advanced stove. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. A power generator. That's pretty cool. Oh, my God. A water pump. Yes. Water pump would be excellent. Yeah. That'd be so convenient. That would save a lot of time. I know it's like a, a small thing, but it would save a lot of time. There's a miller for our wheat eventually. But basic stove. So four wood plates and four br or 20 bricks. So I did say that we were going to go to the market and sell some stuff. Look at me now. I'm like all over the place. Um, what do we need for uh, brick? Is it just stone? I think we just need stone. Yeah, stone for brick. Let's get this going up here. Uh, I need firewood. Give me my firewood, dude. Let's go here. Do I have enough firewood? I might have enough firewood to make this. I do. I think I have enough. Yeah. Go here. I'm so happy that we have a bigger backpack. And you know what's actually cool that I didn't even, like, um, care to notice? I want to make all 20. I do. I want to make all 20. I need a little bit more wood. A little bit more firewood. Let's go here. 12. Uh, one thing that I didn't, like, say, like, look at the backpack actually changed on our character. So our character actually, whatever cosmetic you put on your character, I, I mean, you can say the backpack's a cosmetic, right? Uh, it actually changed. And our character, you know, sometimes games just don't have that, you know, where you change an item on your person and it just, you know, it, it doesn't show up. But this, no, this is definitely it, dude. 50% on the potatoes. That's wonderful. Cauliflower is done. Let's go ahead and grab our cauliflower now. Awesome. Let's go ahead and water that. Wonderful, wonderful. And do this. A little bit of beat action. I want to get that stove in. I do. That's my, like, next big goal here. I think the wheat might be done or one more day. Oh, a couple more days, maybe. Damn it. See, this is where I need the well. <laughs> and I need more uh, more uh, crops done. I'm going to grab this real quick and throw this into the into the furnace. Yeah, and just so you know, Mouse, this game is also, like, you probably already know, maybe, but just to re reassure, this game is early access, so there's going to be probably a lot more to this game in the future that we just don't know about. I personally don't know, uh, wow, Bella is just scared the living crap out of me. I don't know personally what the roadmap is. It'd be kind of cool to figure out what the roadmap would be like, though. There we go. Donkey, 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 donk. Let me get this last wheat done. Or last couple wheat done. There we go. And there we go. Cool. <clears throat> okay, so now that we get this, I think I'm going to put the basic stove inside the house. Yeah. I think I'm going to put it inside the house so that any food that we need to do or make or whatever. Oh, my God. See, this is this is the thing. Like, it's raining now. It, that means I didn't have to water waste my time watering the crops. I don't know if they'll change that in the future where, like, at the beginning of your day it rains. Or if there's going to be a feature in the game later on where they're like, hey, hey, you can... You can build a TV or you can build a radio and you can listen to the radio or watch the TV and be like, turn into the weather station and be like, tomorrow it's going to rain so that you don't have to worry about watering your crops. You know, that's that's a subtle gripe. I think I have right now. It's like in most games, you can do that. You know, most games, you you, you don't have to. You, you can know what the weather is in the, in the next day. Most games like this, I should say. Well, who knows? Maybe there's a feature down the road that I just haven't unlocked yet, haven't done yet. But gosh darn it, I didn't have to do that. Okay, let's grab our bricks now. Okay, let's go inside because this is where we're going to build our stove. Yep. Or, oh my god, I need wood plates. I think I have wood plates, maybe? Maybe not. You know what? Let's just make a few more. Just in case if I don't. Let's do ten. Ten. 
Hey, Chris Calmer. Good to see you again. Welcome back. I almost missed the stream. Fell asleep on the couch after work. Hey. Bet you that nap was freaking excellent, though. I hate taking naps. Because once I wake up, I'm just like, I'm dead. I'm like, I can't get up. I, I, I fall in and I can't get up. Good to see you, though, Chris. I didn't know. I thought it was just a demo. Now it's an early access. That's a whole new ball game. Thanks, Kansas. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, uh, this is, yeah, this is, uh, base. Today's release day. We're playing on release day. It's an early access. It is currently 10% off for the first seven days of being released, and um, it, it, it's it's at a steady 24.99 USD original price, but you can pick it up for 22.99, which is how much I picked it up for USD, of course. So, you know, but um, yeah. I'm going to make this stove now. Okay, I want to put the stove. Can I put the stove like right? Oh, perfect. Yes. Right there. Now, it did not cost any money to make that stove. Now, hang on a sec. Let's see here. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we're cooking. Hey, an, an empty bottle, you can make a ton of fat. Or, sorry. <laughs> you can make a ton of oil if you have fat in, in empty bottles. Sliced fruit. We'll get into that later. Um, small salads. Probably should uh, really look into that. Fried eggs, um, elixir, antidotes, fruit salads again, egg salad. Oh, I, that sounds so good. Like a nice freaking cob salad with some blue cheese, some cheese, you know, some uh, shredded cheese, some blue cheese with some eggs. Oh, yo, yo, that. I'm hungry. I am hungry. Uh, packed lunch, spring salad, sliced fruit, smash salad. Onion rings, toasted corn. All you need is wood and corn for toasted corn. Fish with herbs, baked fish, winter soup, and spicy fish. Oh, I'm glad they keep it spicy in this game. Good. Um, yeah, so small salad would be probably the one thing that we can definitely uh, make relatively quickly. All we need to do is plant carrots and broccoli, which is easy. I can do that right away, at least in springtime. So that's good to know. Uh, so let's, let's, yeah, let's jump on that right now. So actually, I think my dirt is inside. Is my earth in here? A bay. No. I think my earth is in here. Earth? <laughs> Where's my earth? There it is. There's my earth. Okay. Let's build a couple more crops, shall we? Crop plots. Uh, do this. Crop plots. And the one thing I really love, and I know it's hard to see right now, but... I did mention this before is I love the auto lock system that you can do on your plots so you don't need to like sit there and like Ooh, is this perfectly right there you can just snap it dude wonderful Woo <laughs> all right <laughs> okay let's get some things growing here okay what seeds do we want we want broccoli obviously that's not broccoli you idiot okay 612 we want 12 broccoli that's gonna give us two plots. Uh, we can only do one plot of carrots. We'll get one plot of carrots. We could do another lettuce, which isn't get bad. Unfortunately, what I'm gonna have to start doing now is I'm gonna start mixing in. They're gonna be different. Um, I guess different, uh, not that, you idiot. Uh, different, I, I mean, I had it organized a little bit, but it's not gonna be organized anymore is what I'm trying to say. So there, we'll go uh, carrots, also there. Sorry, uh, lettuce, there. We'll do that. Now we have carrots rolling. And then we have lettuce rolling. And we're gonna have a few of a few broccolis rolling. Broccoli rob. Is that a thing? Broccoli rob? I feel like that's a thing. There we go. Hey Green Plum, how are you? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Monique made chicken wings with blue cheese sauce for dinner. Oh my that sounds so good. So Danielle, she doesn't like uh, she doesn't like blue cheese. So I don't like get any like good specialty blue cheese meals here at, here at home, unfortunately. But God damn, it, I would love it. That sounds so good. Let's get some beets in there. We need to go forage some more seeds too. There we go. Plant that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's let's pick up a few seeds here. Got to plant fibers, carrot seeds. Excellent. That's what we needed. I can plant one more carrot. That's fine. Okay, we might be able to pull off a carrot here in a sec. So I guess if I was like saying, what would I, what would my tip be? 
uh, for starting out. Honestly, um, my tip would be, and this was given in chat by uh, by George, and um, so so shout out to George. My tip would be there's a chest right here that spawns, I think. Um, try to get a key as fast as you can and open that bad boy up because it gives you a brand it gives you a brand new backpack that gives you more added inventory. That would be my uh, my tip. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go ahead and plant our last carrots over here. There we go. Wonderful. There's also an advanced stove. Yeah, I saw the advanced stove. I did see that. Do that. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'm coming for dinner. I know, right? I've been playing Elden Ring lately. Damn. Damn. <laughs> That, that game, I don't know. How do you feel about that game? That game, to me, seems, uh, like, like, games that are, uh, what is it? Games that are, like, really hard on you. Not, like, I, obviously the game is hard, but, like, what I mean, like, is, like, how, how, how do I explain it? Games that are super not forgiving. Games that are not forgiving, like Elden Ring, Dark Souls, and things like that, like, I don't know how people do it, dude. It would give me so much stress. You know? I already have a lot of stress in my life now. I don't need added stress or anxiety like a game like that. <laughs> but hey, if you're enjoying it, that's good. That's good, right? That's if you are enjoying it. I, I could put the earth in here, too. Kind of go with that. I, I'll take out the fat and replace it with the earth. And I'll put the fat inside the house. There we go. No, uh, yeah, that's fine. The ingredient there great now my food is getting low i'm gonna have to probably resort back to lettuce eating oh there's an apple i got an apple hooray there we go perfect eat that apple real quick there we go apples are pretty nutritious in this game i do want to go explore the beach and that's kind of where i was going to head towards but it is getting dark now i do want to explore the beach i still need to explore like southwest of the uh chemo island That sounds so good. I baked potatoes with butter, sweet corn, bacon, and chicken filet today. Oh, my Lord. That sounds good, too. Ah! Okay, don't mess with the bees. But I kind of want to mess with the bees. Okay, I don't want to mess with the bees. <laughs> I made minute instant noodles, maybe. I spent 14 hours still haven't killed the first boss. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. I'm like, I don't know, man. Other people can suffer, and I'll just sit back and watch type thing. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous. That's crazy. This is stuff that we haven't forged either. Oh, hey, there's the cherry bushes. Dude, cher I thought ch cherries come in, like, cherry trees, right? Do cherries also come in, um... And bushes? Like, are there cherry bushes in real life? I thought there was only cherry trees. I didn't know there was cherry bushes. There's a lot of coconuts here. We could probably sell these coconuts, maybe. Hey, but we can actually at least get some uh, cherries done. There we go. Uh-oh. It's gonna get dark. It's gonna get dark fast. Oh, baby. There's a lot of coconut here. Now, so far... Um, the only thing that I found useful from coconuts is hydration. Now, there could be more, um, uses for it, of course. I'm gonna grab this cherry again. Grab another cherry. Oh, there's more apples. Oh, good thing we went foraging today. Absolutely good thing. There we go. We desperately needed it. Um, let's actually switch out that cherry for a water bottle. Yeah, there we go. Hot key it. There we go. And I, I should make more water bottles. I should also. Let's go ahead and drink that real quick. There go. And then let's eat a couple of apples while we're here. I hope also they fix the camera in this game in the future. I think that will be good too. That will be a good addition. There we go. Love the flowers. Oh, look, another cherry. I don't know. I don't know what it takes to make a fruit salad. It might take strawberries, but there we go. Another apple. So yeah. 
Uh, like I said, if it rains tomorrow, great. But I hope it rains in the morning. Because if it does, that will give us, like I said, a bigger bigger advantage to head towards the uh, head towards the town. Just, just let me know. Just let me know if it's going to rain. That's all I ask for. Because I want to go into town. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's go. You know what? 12 hours is fine. 12 hours is excellente. $320. I can do apples and cherries on the stove? Okay, I'm going to look into that then. That's great if I can. Perfect. Let's see. Apples and cherries, please. Oh, sliced fruit. Okay, so some fruits together can make a good and healthy snack. This is a meal that means if you eat it and become satisfied, you will receive an energy buff. Oh, well, you already know I'm going to be jumping into that. So three of those, send it. Very good. Oh, look at this. Look at the stove go. Oh, so good. Oh, how cool is that? Um, what do I need to make... Excuse me, what do I need to make more, uh, water bottles? Um, wood bucket? What does a wood bucket do? Use it with water to use in animal buildings. Okay, that makes sense. Um, basic key. Iron bucket. There's the bucket. Okay, so plant fiber and duct tape. And what do we need for duct tape? Plant fiber and fat. Okay, right. Plant fiber is a big thing. Uh, let's go here. I think I want to make a few buckets. Or not buckets. A few, um... What is it? A few, uh... Water bottles. There you go. Spit it out there, forehead. Good job. Let's go here. We'll make... What do I need? How much I need? I need just one tape. So I can make four. Let's go four. Four tape. Four. We'll get that. We'll go ahead and pick up our meal. Grab that. There we go. There's our sliced fruit. Our first actual official meal that we've cooked. How exciting. I know, right? Calm down. Calm down. It, it, it's kind of crazy, right? <clears throat> they took out the part to having to use wood to use the uh, stove. Oh, so did you actually have to use wood before to, for the stove? What do I need now? Oh, this is interesting. So we can't we can't do empty bottles. We actually have to um, we have to have our crafting skill leveled up to level uh, one. So real quick, where do we stand here in our crafting skill? We're 93 away, or we're 93 out of 100. Sorry, we're not 93 away, but we're 93 out of 100. This will give us unlock shop tent blueprints and new crafting options. Shop tent blueprints. That sounds pretty spicy. Hello, Monique. How are you? Good to see you again, Monique. Welcome back. What is that green circle? Uh, down by the below, I think that's uh, our well rested. It's like a buff, I think, right? Ener energized buff because we were well rested, I believe, is how that works. Uh, it probably would work the same too if I were to um, uh, eat like a food or something, right? We should be able to harvest something here, right? Almost. There we go. I would like to build a well too. I gotta look into that. There's so much to do, right? That's the fun thing about these games when you start out. Is like there's so much to do, right? Damn it. That's that's exactly my point. We need a well. Let's see here. Mm, how much was it? Or what do we need for a well again? Our water pump. Pack of screws and rope. Okay, let's see if we can jump into this. So, since we need our crafting skill up, let's see. Pack of screws is going to cost us one iron. That will give us five, so we'll do this. We're doing this strictly so we can unlock bottles too <laughs> yeah so uh basically if you can't see that circle there that green flashy circle it's an energy energy kind of like symbol now i wonder if there's other buffs in the game if we'll get other buffs maybe i guess we'll just have to see so we'll get our pack of shrews done and then uh what else did we need uh rope we needed rope I don't know how much rope we need. Maybe five rope? We'll do that too. What's in this one? Ores? I'm gonna change the name of this to ores. Oops. Ores? There we go. I mean, that's not really ore, it's organic trash. But I can use that for fertilizer, so I'm gonna keep all that. So, organic trash, also another thing to, to, to remember. Keep your organic trash, unlike I did in the beginning, because it's it's been told, I've been told that you can use the organic trash for fertilizer. 
Okay, let's get rid of our plant fiber for now. There we go, that's fine. Let's grab our rope. Now we should maybe be able to build it. Build. Oh, I didn't even check to see if it costs a specific skill to build this water pump. It does, it costs two crafting skill. Dang it, okay, that, that's that's a little bit of a bummer. That is, I, I should have I should have looked at that before. Well, that's all right. At least we know that we have some materials for that when we are ready to get that water pump in. Yeah, all right, let's put that away, put that away, um, put that away, some crafting materials, and then um, we're gonna need water. We're gonna need a drink of water here. Um, let's put the uh, bottles back up there on our hot bar. We'll replace the key. There we go. We'll go do that. Right, let's go get some water real quick. I know, I'm so close. Might as well just keep crafting, right? There we go. We'll do a little bit of that. I guess I could, like, bring in some materials that I know I'll probably need to use in the future, yeah? Let's see here. I can make some more pack of nails. I'll probably, uh, I'll probably need maybe even another uh, key, right? Let's go, like, one pack of nails. Maybe a pack of screws, you know? And then maybe something else. And that should give us our crafting skill to level one finally. Gonna water that. This should be done, no? No, it's not done? Wow. That. Now there is 30 days in a season, in a full month, right? So we're coming up on that soon. I can't believe the time, dude. The time is like flying. Ah, I can't believe our freaking water can's already out again. Let's go do this real quick. Grab that. There we go. We actually got our crafting improved there. Awesome. Now we can go ahead and make the water bottles if we want to, which will save us a lot of time. Uh, so I'm going to do that right away. Come on, grab this. So what I mean by a lot of time, it just save us a lot of time as in like you don't have to worry about doing it constantly because uh, like three water bottles isn't going to be it's not holding us down very long. Right. So let's do that. There we go. Wonderful. And then uh, let's go in here. Grab the duct tape that we need. Nope. Grab the duct tape. There we go. And then let's go outside. And then we need to get fiber. Is right here. We can make at least what four, maybe four of these things. Yeah, four. Four additional water bottles. That's gonna save us a lot of time. I'm happy. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can make the well yet. No, I don't think I can make the well yet. Well is uh, level two, level two crafting. Uh, we just hit level one. Yeah, level two crafting. I know that UI is really, really small to see, but it's, it's level two. But if we wanted to, we can make an advanced stove. We can make a power generator now, which I think is way far down the road from us. Um, farming two is what we can do if we want sprinklers and things like that. Uh, avocado, avocados we can't do. Um, decorative items we could probably do more of, but they just cost money really in crafting skills, I guess. But we could at least have this stuff and make this stuff and bring that stuff. Stall shop is now what we can do. We actually actually can make a stall shop. So you can add items to sell here and assign a staff member when there is one available. Shops can be used to sell items to tourists. So we can build a stall shop. We can run our own business. We can have our crops go through and then we can hire someone to sell our stuff during the day so that we don't have to do it during the day. This is a big thing. This is a big deal I feel like in this game. Um, I think it's a really cool thing. Um, you don't see it a lot in most games kind of like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to buy, uh, build an additional more duct tape. Actually, I should probably build 10, not freaking five. Damn it. I'm going to get the materials ready for this stall shop. It'll help me with the crafting skill, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to build the stall shop right away because then I'll have to hire someone and that's at a daily expense. Maybe it's cheap, maybe it's not. I don't know, but there's a bird that just landed right on my workbench. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Let's do another five. So that's what I'll do. I'll kind of get this stuff prepared for the stall shop and then I'll, I'll have to reassess them when I want to use it. 
So you're here, you're throwing a dinner party. You absolutely. Yeah. Hey, blue cheese, chicken wings. What are you doing to me? It's wonderful stuff. Throw it now. Like throw it through the screen. See that? Right through the freaking screen. I will catch it. Caught. <laughs> All right. Okay, what else do I need? Uh, we have the nails, which is fine. I need rope and wood. So rope. Wait, how much rope did I need? I need 10 rope. Okay, 10 rope. Let's do 10 rope. 10 rope. There we go. And then 40, like 40 plate woods, I guess is, is not too bad. I'm going to eat this fruit fruit salad for the first time. See how like nutritious it is for us. Yeah, it gives us a lot. It does give us a lot. That was pretty good. That was really good. I'm not going to hit it again, but I know that it is good. Let's go ahead and chop down another tree. Okay, we'll get this bad boy done. Get that wood log in. Okay. And then I'll make more wood plates. Get more prepared for that. I got to finish off my watering. I almost forgot to do that. My last plot here. There we go. Check the electric workbench. There's an electric workbench, yeah? Workbench, furnace, basic stove, advanced stove, electronics table. Ah, we can make an electronics table. It allows you to create many different basic types of items. Okay, cool. So this is something we can actually do. We can actually make this. I think initially it's kind of pointless right now. I think because we don't have a lot of power or anything, but I could be wrong about that. But electric table, you could probably build a battery, right? Cheese machine, a miller, a wine. I know, cue for it to freaking rain. That's what I'm waiting for. Wood plate. We need 40 of these at least. 20. Let's just build 20 for now. And we'll get that going on. All right. We're going to need to get another axe soon, too. Right. Yeah, you're, you're gonna need that for the electric wire. I don't, I don't, I'm not really worried about the electric wire right now. <clears throat> Cause I knew that like coming off, it's like, okay, that's kind of, it feels like not a late game thing, but it's like, really that's like the second quest I get in the entire game is to make, or is to have electric wire. Like, damn it. Like I was fine with the two potato seeds and the, um, the two potato seeds and the, and the watering can that was that was a little bit you know of a chore in itself but to then to be like oh yeah i need two electric wires all right like one step at a time please <laughs> the game said no i couldn't even choose i was forced into the matter right i was forced into the quest i just hope it doesn't ruin relationships i don't think it would if they force you into it i don't think they're gonna uh, you know uh i don't think it would ruin relationships which by the way how many people have we met? There's still half of the town we still haven't met. Seems like there's a pirate we need to meet. Uh, there's a guy with a fishing... Maybe the pirate guy. This guy with the leg. Maybe he's the ship guy. Where we get our ship from. There's a fishing guy. Okay. Spicy. Spicy individuals. Um, Might as well go and like... Like, can I get rid of this giant ass rock here? I can yeah, let's get this out of here, dude. Let's get this out of here and start kind of expanding our crop farm. We're going to hit it hard probably summer when summer comes, hopefully. Summer, 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 summer time. Yeah, it, it, well, it, it does. There's no feel about it. There's like, it absolutely does force you to, 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 to accept those quests. I even tried to hit escape to maybe that would work. And it was like, nope, got to hit continue. Which is fine. That's an, e that's an easy thing to fix for sure. Go ahead and pop all these bad boys out since it's getting late. Can, you know, we don't want to waste too much time, you know. Just standing around. There we go. Plus, that gives us some iron. All right. So, we did get our plates in. Awesome. So, now we have the uh, necessary um, stuff, right? The right, the appropriate stuff for our stall shop when we're ready to do that. So, we'll do that. Put that away. Oh, wait, no, we don't. We need, like, 20 more wood plates. That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll get that later. Uh, we do have a lot of this, which is good. And when I say this, I mean water bottles. Gonna put the fat away. Um, and we'll put the organic trash away. Uh, plant fiber away. So much ores and stone, like iron ore and stone that we have. 
Might as well put the put away the, the pack of nails too while we're here. Let's put away this like mushroom. Don't need the mushroom right now. And let's put away the nails. And then I'll put the ores outside. Alright, go to bed. 12 hours. Let's do yeah, that's 12 hours. Uh, let's do 11 hours. 11 hours will make it um 6 a.m. 6 a.m. ish or 7 a.m. ish. 6 a.m. It'll be 6 a.m. Oh god. I'm pulling on my wires, dude. I gotta have my controller plugged in. I'm not even using it anymore. Okay. Very good. Okay, let's see here. First things first, let's go ahead and drink some water. And then let's eat some fruit slices. There we go. Maybe one more too. Yeah, one more for good measure. And today, we're gonna be jumping into the town. I know I keep saying that, but no, seriously, we're going to the town. <laughs> I got I got to discover more. I just need to water this stuff and then um, we'll head straight there. Oh, you made the suggestion that hopefully it changes that there. Oh, that's good. That's good that you made that suggestion. That's wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, this, I just watered something that didn't need to be watered. Well, actually I did because now it's still needed to be watered. But hey, we got more lettuce. Yeah, still got more lettuce. Wonderful to see. We go grab some, some of this stuff. Let's run. Let's sprint there. There we go. Let's run back. Okay. Oh, this is ready to harvest too. Wonderful. So now we're kind of just stocking up, really, for the future, maybe, for um, wheat. Now, hang on a sec. Now, the game did talk about... In the beginning, the game did talk about uh, decay. Now, I don't know if if food will decay if it's in a spoils in eight days. Oh, shit. Spoils in two days. Spoils in one day. <laughs> we got to go sell stuff today. Um, yeah, I totally, totally forgot about it. That food spoils. Ay, that's a big issue. So let's run. Let's go. We got to get to that shop, right? Uh, who was it? Jordan? Is that what the person's name was? They're open in the morning. Closes at noon. We got to go there. Oh, no, dude. But hey, that at least pushes us more to building our own shop. Because if we build our own shop, then we don't really have to worry about uh, food spoiling all the time. Good thing I checked, though. We have one day for our lettuce to spoil. <laughs> that would have been a terrible surprise in the morning. Ow! Hello, John. I would love to talk to you right now, but I'm in a hurry. <laughs> I'm in a big hurry. I'm starting to get used to how the town like is laid out, too. Go down here. Hello, guard. Then off to the left here. Hey, there's Tony. Oh, there's a new character right there too. I gotta go talk to that person. So this is this is it, yeah? Are you open in the morning? It's morning, dude. Jordan shop open in the morning, closed for the rest of the day. Jordan, it's eight thirty in the morning. You never you you are you Jordan? Or are you Jordan? Maybe this is Jordan. Is this Jordan? This is Hermie. A new face. Well, hello, I'm Hermie, and I live in a house behind the woods behind the town. Yes, I like magic and stuff, as you can see from my clothes. And you, who are you? I've never seen you around. Well, I'm Kans. I've arrived not so long ago, you know. Still learning about the town, getting to know everyone. Ah, oh, there's not much to see, other than that this town is small, and the tourists we had before are not coming back soon. Uh, for me, I don't care too much. I don't live because of these tourists. One of the things I know is everyone needs something. We were a town that was living out of tourism, but now we are doing almost anything we can. Anyway, I hope you find what you are looking for. Good luck. Okay, thank you. That was Jordan? All right, let me go back. That better be Jordan. 9 a.m. is when you open, Jordan? Hello, Jordan. All right, let's chat with him first. So, hi. Uh, I don't believe we met before. I'm Jordan, and I have a small shop in town. Come to see me if you want to check some nice stuff to buy. I always have something for everyone. And you must be new here, right? I know everything that happens in these islands. Nice to meet you too, Jordan. I will drop by your store sometime. 
Uh, I just moved into town. Yeah, drop by your store. He'll love that. Absolutely. Nice. Drop by if you need something. Usually I have some good stuff. Take care. All right, let's go ahead and drop by. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, my good man. Um, you have empty water bottles. You have seeds. You have avocados. Can only be grown during the spring. $750. Holy crap. Bananas. Fig fig seeds. Cassava seeds. Cassava, I don't even know if I said that right. Cassava? Cassava seeds? I don't even know what a cassava is. That's during spring and summer. Okay, well, my man, I just want to sell you all of my lettuce because it's going to spoil tomorrow and I can't really make anything from it. So there you go. About $100 we made. Uh, my cauliflower also spoils soon. My apple is going to spoil soon, but I can eat the apple today. How's my wheat do? My wheat spoils in eight days. Now, again, I don't know if, if we put this in a chest that it doesn't spoil or if it still spoils. I don't know how that mechanic works. But um, I do have a lot of coconuts that spoils in three days. That's worth $4 values. Um, I feel like it'd be a good idea to sell this too. The cauliflower. Because there's not much we could do with it now. So let's go ahead and sell it all. There's a part of me that wants to sell the wheat. But if... Uh, I'm going to put it in the chest and I'm going to kind of test it out. If it does decay in the chest, then I'll sell the wheat. Um, because it's actually valued pretty high at $8. So that's fine. Thank you, Jordan. All right, let's continue with our exploration here. Okay, we've been there. There's Tony. We can talk to Tony again. Hey, Tony. Howdy, sorry about the quick chat on that bridge, but I had to fix that really fast. I still don't know what happened there, but with your help, I solved that quickly. And I think I did not get your name. Uh, sorry, I'm Tony, by the way. Really pleased to meet you. Uh, hi, Tony. That help was tough for me. I could see... I could use a reward or something. Okay, let's not be too crazy about that. Great to meet you, and glad I could help. No worries about the chat. We can always chat again. That's good to hear. Things are hard today. We have no tourists coming in town, so I try fixing everything I can and make some coins with it. The elder paid me to do that. And without tourists, the town has no real income. And not only me, but everyone is struggling. Uh, uh, no people at the pub, nothing for me to fix, no one to buy our fish, etc. But hey, maybe you are our little hope that just got here. That just got here? I will be glad to help you in anything that can also help our town. Remember this. Okay, very good. Thank you, Tony. Ah, look at this. So this is a bunch of stuff that we don't know about. So this must be Tony's workshop. This is really cool. Now, is he going to go to, like... Can we buy stuff from him? No. Maybe not. Okay, it will decay in the chest. Okay, that's good to know. All right, very well. We still want to go kind of southwestish. Might not be able to go down this way. No, we might have to go back up and around. Yeah, there's like a road that goes left here. This goes this is kind of north, but we'll see where this takes us regardless. Oh, who is this? Is that Ivy? That is Ivy. Hello. Has anyone ever said that you gave an impression of being someone who can take care of the land, plant, and harvest fruits? Um... Not exactly, but now that I am living here on the island, I'm excited about it. Well, that's cool. There's nothing like getting your hands dirty to see how nature works. Let me know if you need any help. All right. What does this say? So to the north is the pier for Kimo. To the west is the lighthouse. To the east is Kimo Town. Go to the west. Okay, now it got a little funky with the music, right? We're running like we're, we're definitely traveling so far away from our house right now. Probably should. Oh. Okay, there's the crab that that crab that gives like 50 uh, damage crazy crab we'll just run right past it i should really discover the beach on my own island still i don't think a machete is going to really work it here i did see a cherry bush i'm a little interested in this is a cave yeah uh oh ancient mines oh what is this blue mushrooms I wonder if you can get special ores from here. Or if it's just like, this is where you... Oh, God. I just hurt myself with that. Green mushroom, I guess. Or God. I'm hurting myself with other... What? I'm poisoned. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Well, that's all right. I think uh, picking those mushrooms poisoned us. That would have been good to know ahead of time. But that's all right. We're okay, I guess. It's not going to kill us, I don't think. 
I'm just gonna walk out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna just kindly walk out. Did not expect that to happen. I will be real with you. Did not know harvesting uh, green mushrooms would have put us in a in a dire state here. Go ahead and do that. Get a little bit of thirst under control there. And then I'm gonna go back this way because I did see some cherries, and I'm gonna go harvest some cherries. So we know that where the ancient mines are. The ancient mines are west of town. Good to know. Almost done with the poison. It's almost done. Almost done. I know. Look at this. It's like cherry heaven. There's so many cherries here. Oh, this is going to be perfect for our uh, fruit salad, I guess. Well, we need apples, though. We need more apples. There we go. We are all better. There we go. There we go. Almost all better. Very, very close. Now we're better. Man, that took a lot of health out of us. Oh, what is this? This is the new lighthouse. Okay. Or they li the lighthouse, not the new lighthouse. I wonder if you can go inside that eventually. But well, we have now discovered the lighthouse. That's good to know. Can I go this way? Ah, yes. Can we get anything from these pine trees? No? Well, at least we found a lot of cherries over here. I guess in the future, it's good to know that if you need cherries, come to the lighthouse. All right, we'll head start, start heading back. This crab is going to be up here waiting for us. I know it. Yep, there he is. <laughs> I don't even want you, dude. Don't even come at me. I'm not even interested in you. I just got my ass whipped by a bunch of green mushrooms in a cave. Think I'm ready for you? No, absolutely not. I'm ready for this right here. There we go. All right, I'm going to start getting as much apples as I can on the way back home, and then I'm going to start... Uh, um, I'm gonna make some fruit salad, more fruit salad, because that was pretty, uh, nutritional, beneficial, all that. Now, the only next thing we need to do, really, is go north of town. And then, we still need to discover a lot on our own island. I'm still kind of neglecting our own island, in a way. Let's talk to John. So, many people have tried to help me, but I still can't remember how I got to chemo. Maybe it's better that way. There are so many interesting things here. I don't know if I will ever, if I will never get back home. If you can't remember the past, live in the present. What matters is here and now. Chemo is beautiful. The past is gone. It's a, it's a pretty good way to say that. This is the same positive attitude I have. I have no use to try and think about it too much. I am happy to have found a place as beautiful as chemo. I like that guy. I like John. He says his like favorite food is like mashed potatoes. I wonder if like the citizens will give you uh, recipes <clears throat> if you become, you know, friends with them. You know how in other games, you can, uh, you know, become friends with some of the citizens and they'll give you recipes. At least I'm thinking like Stardew Valley again, Story of Seasons, um, you know, all that kind of jazz. All right, let's head back home. We'll make some fruit salad. We'll have a nice bowl of fruit salad. Now that we have a bunch of cherries. And then really got to start planning on building a stall. Because after all, our food is going to decay over time. So it is what it is. Let's go here. Make a bunch of fruit salad. Or sliced fruit. Not fruit salad. Sliced fruits. We'll do that. Um, water wise. Uh, let's go and get some water. And by the time we go get water, it should be done. Uh, our fruits slices should be done put those in our inventory put our empty water bottles there go seven go grab some of that there we go a bunch of please like a lot like all seven of my bo water bottles please there we go this will save us so much time now now that we have so many water bottles so so far we only have like one vendor which is fine, um, but it looks like, for the most part, everything's going to be held on our shoulders, which is like the point of the game, right? When it comes to uh, the economy, I guess you could say, which is an interesting take. Let's go ahead and put this and give us some fruit salad. There we go. Okay, that's good. Okay, so. Um, let's see. Let's do. Oh yeah, let's go to bed for 12 hours. 
I'm trying to think of what to do in the morning. Maybe we just do it. Maybe we just send it. I, we needed $500, I think, to have... Um, well, there's a thunder and lightning right there. So I don't need to water anything. I think I needed $500 to even open up my, my stall. If I wanted to build one. But we kind of like gotta like jump into that right away. Not a garage. Not a staff house. Now that's interesting. It's a staff house. <laughs> I'm gonna need three crafting skill to get a staff house done. Stall shop. I didn't need any money at all. No, I didn't. Okay, so all right. So let's use the five hundred dollars that we made already. Let's use the five hundred dollars and kind of invest it into, I guess, employee in expenses. I don't need that. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna need forty wood plates. Gonna need some duct tape. Gonna need some rope. I think I might need to build more tools as far as like an axe goes. Is there any more wood anywhere that I have? I don't think I do. No. Yeah, so let's go ahead and chop down some more trees, which I hate doing. I do, I do, I do. Especially when the apples drop from them, you know. We'll start back here. Start taking out some of this stuff. So that is the... Oh, look, there's an apple right there. So the goal today is to get this stall shop up and running. And I guess hire an employee. Now, again, reputation for our person is, I think, what I've been told how we get more tourists. Like, we attract tourists. Now, I haven't seen any tourists, and I don't know if that will be a thing if we actually see tourists. Hopefully, we will see tourists. Um, and maybe they just won't come until you build a stall shop, you know? Maybe that's just what it is. So, let's see here. That should be enough. We have like over 20 plates. We should be able to make enough for now, like 20 plates again, additionally. So we'll do that. We'll go ahead and water our plants. Let's go ahead and take a nice drink of water real quick. There we go. Water our plants, and then we will build our stall shop. Now, where am I gonna build the stall shop? I don't know. <laughs> I guess anywhere is fine, maybe? I don't even know, dude. Like, I, I kind of want to, as much as I can, kind of put it by the road. I think that would be kind of cool. So look at now. We have um, lettuce and we have carrots ready to go. And then potatoes are so close. Now, I think I want to save some of that stuff. Actually, th oh, wait, it, it rained. It rained. We don't need to water. It rained. Yeah, it rained. Okay, we don't need to water. Okay, good, 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 good. And um, we just need to worry about putting all of our stuff away. So we have broccoli, carrots, and lettuce. We might be able to make a something, right? Something indeed. Go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff. So stone, um, iron ore. Uh, that's it for now. That's it for now. Grab the carrots. There we go. And then let's go inside here and put this stuff away for the time being. I'm very, very interested to see how this how this all works out. Like I do not know how if we have to just throw food into our stall shop to see if it like supplies like kind of supply it right i don't know i'm kind of i'm anxious dude i'm ready for it to to happen so since it rained last night i don't need to do any of that get our broccoli in that's fine more carrots those are replanted now that like i know it was weird at first but i'm kind of glad that you don't have to like sit here and replant because that would take a lot of time glad that it does it automatically hey there we go grab our wood plates Okay, now, stall shop. 10 pack of nails. I did, not, did I not grab the pack of nails? We might have not enough room either. Let's go get the nails, they should be inside. Let's go ahead and put the mushrooms away. There we go, we have seeds on us as well. Let's put some plant fiber away, put those mushrooms away. Might need those later. Okay, let's see here. Pack of nails, yep, there we go, there's the pack of nails. Let's see here. Uh, the small salad was lettuce, so we need lettuce. Okay. That's all we need is lettuce. And I sold all my lettuce, so great. <laughs> no, I did it! Oh my god, they're all right there. Good. Good job. Bring the carrots, too. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Small salad. How many can I make? Six. Let's make... Well, might as well make all of it. Let's just use all of it for us. As a beneficial thing, yes, we probably could use the ingredients to use for the stall shop. But I think using it, investing it in ourselves is probably the best way to go for now. 
Uh, small stall shop now. So can I put this anywhere, or how does this work? I don't even know how this works. Um, it looks like I can put it practically anywhere. And the question is, where do I want to put it? I kind of like this little spot here. It's like on the trail, kind of. Now, let me just double check. I can't like place this anywhere I want, right? No, because look, at there's campfire with a pot and there's campfire tent or camping tent. That's new to me. I had no idea that this was a thing. That's good enough. Okay, so when someone enters my farm here, maybe I want them to come and see my stall shop right there on the corner. Yeah! That kind of actually integrated its own self with the pathing. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. So, uh, different things that we can sell here. I want to do crops, obviously. And you can change the color? Oh, that's wonderful. Wow, okay. Okay, so now that the stall shop is here, items to sell? Oh, baby! Um, I would like to sell wheat. Um, coconut? I'll sell coconut. Because we technically don't need that. Let's sell a backpack. That should be $50 in itself. And one more item that we can have here. Um, we'll just do that for now. Okay, so now hiring someone. Staff available. So there's no staff available. Why is there no staff available? Is it because there's not enough... Not enough reputation for us to hire somebody? Well, that's a little worrisome. <laughs> that's a little worrisome because uh, I don't want these things to, like, decay. So the whole lot of this is $84. A whole lot of the... If we sold every single wheat we had... It would be $576. Wow. Now, I wonder if this will show up tomorrow. If there will be staff available tomorrow. Maybe there's just none right now. But look at the... You can actually see it changed on the front here. Um, that we have stuff on our, you know... On our... Uh, on our stall shop. Hang on a sec. Give me a moment. Okay. Very, very cool. Very cool indeed. Okay. Well, I hope that... Tomorrow, we'll have people that will come in and be like, hey, we want to be hired. Uh, because if not, that's going to be kind of an issue. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Let's go to, like, can we go to, like, our reputation? Uh, where was that at? No. Where was the reputation? Oh, right here, right here. So, I guess right now our re reputation, we were something else before this, I can't remember, but we are now considered a worker. Ah, okay, so you need the pier to be built. Okay. Alright. So, alright, alright. Was that on the main island or this island? It was on the main island, yeah? Okay, 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 okay. Let's run there real quick. I think that was up north, yeah? The north end of the island? I see. Okay, so... That, it could be definitely a little bit premature. A little bit premature on the stall shop, possibly. But we'll just have to see. And I say premature because... Um, uh, <laughs> I don't know how much and if we have to, like, build a bunch of material... Or, like, bring a bunch of materials for the pier. Or if we need to um, invest money into the pier. I'm not sure. Oh, it's where I spawned at? Let's see here. Right here, right? I'm assuming this little dock there. Okay, so let's see here. So, the southwest of the island. And maybe that was the whole thing this whole time. Maybe southwest wasn't the main island. It was our island. And I think that's what it is now, thinking about it. That makes sense. That makes more sense now. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, okay, stop and just like take a breather, my man. You're okay. No, don't don't sprint. Just run normally. Okay, so Southwest on our island will open up a lot of questions. Open up a lot of questions. Give us a lot of answers. Okay, I see. It's gonna take a drink real quick. There 
we go. And then let's let's hit it again. No, don't take a screenshot. Go, 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 go. All right. And this is the one thing that I just neglected to do altogether. It's just really never really discovered my own island um, as well as I should have. Let's go here. Go down this way. And who knows? Maybe I run into a chest or something, right? Yeah, so this is where we spawned at. This is where we did a little bit of coconut collecting. But down here should be the dock. Yeah, there it is. There's the dock or the pier. Very, very good. Okay, let's see here. Let's let's take a look. So, hmm, looks like it is a pier used to dock boats and maybe to fish. But I can't use it this way. Maybe I can ask for more information in town. Someone that knows about boats. I remember my parents told me something about this place where tourists like tourists like to travel for vacation. Tourists will usually arrive at the pier from their boat. The higher your popularity, the more tourists will come visit. Oh, there are actually going to be people roaming around. That's awesome. Uh, will come to visit. And the town, since you will be the one attracting tourists. Okay. They can buy items and many things from your property. Uh, so make sure to have a different items to sell. Sometimes even the least important item can be can become something for tourists that are willing to pay a lot of money for. Also, do not forget to make your island beautiful. Tourists get distracted with decorations, so they will spend even more time. Um, some tourists are willing to stay, so if you offer them a job, maybe they can work for you and live in the island. So there we go. Just remember you need to pay them, give them food, drink, and also a place to sleep. Jesus Christ. So I think I was way too far away uh, from building that stall shop. It is what it is, right? Oh, Jack the Pirate. Now, I am going to kind of go down this way a little bit to discover a little bit more. I'm not interested in you crabs. Just to see everything. Now, I think probably then Jack the Pirate is going to be north of, of town, right? Probably north of town. There we go. Apple. Grab this. Come on. Come on. Going to need our flashlight here in a sec. You know, just throw it out. Oh, there's a little bit of cherry action and some apple action. Very good. Very good. Hopefully there's like more like of these forging forgeable items in summer too. Awesome. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at this little gate here. He's down by the beach. Oh, okay. He's down by the beach here or at the uh, other island. Maybe here, yeah. Go down this way. Maybe he's on the other island, yeah? Because there's, like, not a lot here at this. Yeah, no. I don't I don't think he's here. I think he's at the other one, yeah. I'm checking that map, though. <laughs> See if anything pops up. But we got to head back home here. Get out of the darkness. Now, I do like the fact that you can build the tent and all that. Um... Build a little campfire and, and things like of that nature. Kind of sleep out so you don't have to go home every single time. I think that's a really cool. Alright, it gets really like quiet. Like no music playing at all. I'm gonna take a break. Hang on. Catch his breath. Probably have a nice little fruit slice there. There we go. Alright. So so much for the shop, honestly. So much for this. I don't think this is quite um, ready and won't be ready anytime soon. So that's all right. We'll take all this stuff out and we'll probably sell it. Uh, we absolutely will sell it. Um, cause we can make at least six to $700 on just those three items alone. Let's go inside. I totally forgot. I had that on the freaking stove. Good to know. <laughs> all right. Uh, we'll go 11 hours. Yeah. So we know at least what's his face. Jordan opens up his shop at least 9 a.m. ish 9 a.m. So we'll water our crops and we'll head on over there if it rains great if it doesn't F All right, let's see here Did not rain that's all right Do this real quick get our watering done All the potatoes are ready to harvest. Oh good. This is our first time getting our potatoes. Yeah. Oh wonderful wonderful This is actually good timing too 
um, since we're going to be going to Jordan today. Now, um, I don't know if there's something special I can make with potatoes, um, but if there is, they probably need a lot more other things, maybe. Um, so maybe selling these potatoes early on are probably a good thing to do. Oh, look at the beets are done too. I think those are our first beets as well. Maybe. Go. Oh, look, even more apples are blooming. Oh, this is good days. Good days. Good, happy days. We are going to be very, very good on food for a good couple of days. Good few days. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Well, hello, Kelly. How are you? Good to see you, Kelly. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, so let me just finish this up. Then we'll go sell all this wonderful crops that we have. And we'll be looking spicy. Be looking spicy indeed. Totally stall shop. I mean, you could say it's an F, but at the same time, you know what? We don't have to, we don't have to build it now. We're good. We're good on the future, right? We're good on the future. Okay. Um... Yeah, so let's go ahead and drink a couple of waters. Maybe one, just one. And then let's head on over. Sell this stuff to Jordan. It's about 8.30 right now. He should be opened up, opening up soon. Donkey down, donkey down. <clears throat> so, again, 500-ish dollars. 560, I think. 570 for the wheat. $80 maybe for the coconuts. I don't know now it's like all over the place because like I think I might want to sell the potato I think I want to I want to sell all the crops that I have earned I think that's like good early game to do I do want to talk to John let me talk to John hello you stopped by to say hello to the oldest and friendliest guy on the island right sorry I swear I'm not a cocky person I'm just happy to have another person to talk to oh, come on you know that you can always count on me John so what's new the only new thing here so far is you <laughs> but I think this is just the beginning. Who knows? Your work might help the island prosper again and bring more tourists to us. You're damn right. We're going to be talking to... Well, we're going to be hoping that to, to talk to Pirate... Mr. Pirate Jack or Jack the Pirate. Captain Jack. <laughs> Let's talk to Diane again. Hi! I see you're carrying a weapon with you. It's not the ideal one, but it's a start, I guess. By the way, do you have any fighting experience? Well, that's what I managed to salvage from the old house. And better this than nothing, I guess. I fought a couple of... Of times but not too much what's the name of this game the name of this game is spirit of the island yeah spirit of the island well we have to start somewhere right no no let's tell her that we just scrounged this up ah it puts my mind at ease that you have some prior experience the island was abandoned for quite some time now so it's impossible to know what kind of dangers can lurk on it it's always important to be very aware of your surroundings and ready to act, especially now that there have been some pirate attacks. You should watch out for those as well. It's vital to know how to defend yourself and that someone, some things everyone should learn. Very well. Um. Okay, let's go to Jordan before it gets like close to noon. I'm coming, Jordan. There's so many quests on the quest board too. I do. I'm. I'm a little tempted with the quest board, but. I don't know. Maybe this is a better way to go for right now. Uh, hello. Let's actually talk to him first. The island I came from is is now controlled by pirates. I don't know if I ever want to go back there. I'm sorry. It just must be a horrible situation. Are all pirates bad? Yes, no doubt. I hope they don't come here. Pirates are the worst kind of people. Oh, righty. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's go ahead and like sell him all of this. Can we like sell this in a bunch? Like, I don't want to sit here and like spam the one button. But I guess we're going to have to. So there you go. We'll give him all the coconuts as well. So we will sell him the backpack as well. We won't sell him the salad. I'm tempted to give him all the potatoes and the beets. And you know what? I am going to probably do it. I'm probably going to just do it. Uh, so far, we're finding good forageable items. And um... oh, don't sell that, you son of a gun. Gosh darn it. Ah, I sold a couple of salads. Now that I say that, now I'm going to be in the shits, right? No. It's fine. We'll be okay. So, all of our potatoes. We'll see where we can get with all this stuff that we have going on here. Now, I am tempted to buy a cassava seed. 
for $15 each. We can buy a couple of those. No, we need to buy six of those, actually. If we want a full uh, crop. So we'll do that because those are spring and summer. And it's raining, of course. It's raining now. And I watered my plants all be in the beginning. Good Lord. <laughs> Hello, one-handed media. Thank you for the subscription. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Gosh darn it, dude. I could buy more of these, though. Maybe one, two, three. We'll do two more. We could have two plots of it, possibly. Not a bad idea. Thank you, Jordan. Okay, so let's see here. Let's check the map. Yeah, okay. We got to go this way. Let's go right. And we're going to go and check on... Oh, I need to eat something. Let's, let me eat something real quick. There we go. Let's eat our freaking salad that we sold two of. Wow, that actually gave us a lot. That's really good. Okay, now that we're down at the beach, we're going to be meeting a couple people that we've never met before. And talking about situations that we need to talk about. <laughs> like, what the heck is going on here? So, History House. Learn about our own history. I hope we can rebuild that. Uh-oh. I think this might be a uh, Pirate Jack or... Palm Beach, new location. Oh god, who are you? This is Gump. Hey, what's up? How is everything? What you doing? I have so much to do, but I always love to stop and have a good chat. Uh, I'm still getting used to everyone here. Ah, yes. Nice to meet you. My name is Gump. I'm the owner of the pub here. Drop by and get some drinks with me when you can. And at night. People like to go there as well. Okay. Uh, uh, sometimes I have recipes in my pub. Go there if you want to learn something new. They are my secret food recipes. Oh, that's wonderful. But you can get recipes from him. Oh, I love it. Take care. Yeah, you take care, too. Bubba. Well, hi there. Um, hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. I am Bubba. I am still thinking about my last fishing. It was a big fish. Anyway, good to meet you. All right, good to meet you, too. Let's see here. Uh, now, is our boy going to be down here on this boat? No? He should be somewhere, right? Down here? Let's see. Yeah, he's right down here. He's to the east. There he is. Hello. You're Jack. That's the guy I'm looking for. Oh, hiya. What? Uh, you have a pier for boats that is all messed up. And you need someone to fix it? Why, yes, that is correct. And I'm not sure what I will be able to do with that. But since it is near my property, it should be useful. Well, yes, I can help for sure. I build boats, but I also fix piers and cannon towers. And I think I saw this pier that you mentioned when I was walking around. And it is good because it can help to attract even more tourists, right? Uh, well, I, I will need some materials. And then after I fix that, maybe I will ask you a few other things. So yeah, we're going to need to get him some materials, rightfully so. So, we are done. Get the materials and bring it back to me. Here it is. Here is the list. After that, I should take a day to finish. Okay, it's very easy. <laughs> uh, very, very, very easy materials to gather. We actually probably have all of it now. So, now we just need to run all the way back home. Is there like a shortcut back home if we go back this way? Let's try it again. Very, very risky. Hey, we actually found a, a new chest. And we have a consumable. I need some kind of key. We have a key. Yeah, we have the key. Let's put that at seven. Yeah, we have a key. Yo. A golden hammer. <laughs> um, okay. Sure. I mean, thank you. I mean, if you were going to give me a tool, I don't know if a hammer would have been the most useful one. But I guess it's cool. <laughs> now we got to make another key in case we run across another uh, chest like that. Oh, look at this place. What is this place? This is somebody's house. Looks like they're into art. They are definitely into art. <laughs> it's like a... House had a Dr. Seuss there. Oh, is that the, uh, is that the, uh, like the, I forgot her name. Tala, yeah. I have lived on this island a long time. It used to be crowded with tourists and people from other islands. It's a shame that it hasn't been the same since. 
What do you think can be improved to attract tourists? I can help. Well, it has many places and establishments in need of renovation, but I believe that if everyone works it together to improve these things, new tourists will come. Right. I wonder if I go this way, if it will take me back towards the right direction I need to go. Ah, this must be the artsy fartsy kind of person here. Alicia. Alisa? Alisa. Hmm. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I hope I'm not bothering you too much. My name is Kans, and I've just moved into the neighboring island. What is your name? Oh, you're gonna live around here then? My name is Elise, Elisa. Elisa. Uh, I don't like taking too much, and, or talking too much, and I still barely know you to talk with you. So I'm gonna go. I have some things to take care of. Welcome to the island, I guess. Oh, alright. <laughs> okay. I, she's, I guess, shy? Protective? Possibly a little paranoid? I don't know. So this would be... No, I can't take a shortcut. Aw, oh, dang it. All right. I was hoping I could take a shortcut back to the house, but... Let alone, that is not the case. I can see myself getting lost for days on end in this game. It's gonna be a big game. I think it's gonna, like... What do I mean by big game? Maybe not popularity. Maybe, I don't know. Depends. Um, I would like it to be popular because, you know, a lot of people should, like, definitely look into this game. Wait a sec. What is this place? This is the pub, yeah? <sighs> this is the pub. Yo, wait, the kid works the pub? <laughs> Chavez, hey, hey. Yes, it's you. How are you? Everything's good? Everything's amazing? I don't know if I already told you, but you look like an adventurer. Did you know that? Unfortunately, I can't travel alone yet, but I want to be like you someday. Hi, Chavez. You are very excited. You are very excited today, right? Well, I'm an adventurer, and I will get to know the whole world, and you will be one if that is your true will. Are you serious? Oh, great. I was excited when I was told that you did a lot of things on your own. People think I'm too young and too clumsy to go around alone, but that's not true. I'm super cool. All right. All right, Chumi. Is this somebody's house right here too? The houses do look kind of cool. Like some of the like um, items look really good. But anyways, what I was saying is, like, uh, what do I mean by big game? Like, I don't think it, I don't know if it will be a big game, like marketable wise. Maybe. I mean, it depends. I would like it to be a big game because that would be really cool for the game. Especially that it was like on Kickstarter and all, but um, I think it will be big game as in like depth. Yeah, it seems like you can definitely. So again, with the whole like theory, most of you guys know that if you've been around on the channel a lot, I like to, I like to think of games like if you get a dollar an hour out of, you know, a dollar an hour out of the game, you will definitely, you know, it's worth your while. Could I see you putting twenty five hours into this game? Yeah. Wait for it. There you go. She even agrees as well. Bella agrees. Yep. 25 hours. Uh, that is a dollar an hour. I think that's worth it for sure. All right. So now that we are home, um, let's see here. Let me go ahead and just take a drink. What time is it? Ooh, 320. I got to get going here soon, guys. Uh, we'll get some food as well in us. And we'll do that. 8 p.m. all together. Uh, we do have the right packs. and Well, we can actually. We'll be able to make all this stuff. Like, we'll definitely be able to make all this stuff for sure. Yeah, we definitely will. Let's go ahead and turn in for the night. We'll do 10 hours. And then, um, yeah. So, like I said, today is a three. Well, actually, it went more than three hours, to be, to be fair. But um, the huge difference between this and I like Diner Game from DNA. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here for today because I got to go do a few things for this evening. Anyways, it has been a pleasure and honor being with you guys today. Really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me today and diving in and taking a first look at, um, what we have here as spirit of the Island. It's really fun. I'm having a good time and I probably am going to stream this tomorrow. So we're probably going to be playing this tomorrow. So definitely look forward to this, uh, tomorrow gonna be streaming again and maybe another day after it and maybe another day after it so yeah <laughs> so thank you guys for stopping by and hanging out with me today but a pleasure pleasure for sure thanks for the stream no problem and anybody that's watching um what is it? anybody that's watching what is it uh i guess in the uh in the replay 
I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys did enjoy it, please make sure to smash the like button because it will tell me that you want to see more of Spirit of the Island. But let's be fair here. I'm probably going to put in a few more days into this game because I'm really liking it and I'm liking where the direction is going and all that. So thank you guys. And thank, thank you, Norman. Thank you, Norman. Good to see you, Norman. Thank you. Thanks for this. Thanks for the stream. I enjoyed it and having an awesome and have an awesome evening. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow and uh, we will be back once again. So everyone do take care. Seriously. And go pick up this game. If you like it a lot, go pick it up. Go pick it up for yourself and have a good time. Learn a lot more. Maybe put more hours in it than I did today and uh, teach me the good stuff tomorrow. Anyways, do take care.